it's using some of the elements. So I'm just going to quickly show you as best I can using some of the uh, elements from the uh, from the, the Lumber okay. Bridge collection. So I'm going to use the border. Okay. So what I've done first is I've popped the border onto here along with the beautiful lady. Sat she outside eating, eating on, on a lovely little bit of cake. It's, can you see? The, I mean, this is what I love about it. It's got even a little tiny die there that's got the lovely cake element. So I put that onto some matte black cardstock. What's obviously available? Okay. I mean, I'm sure it'll be on the website somewhere. So lovely. I'm just going to pop that into the Gemini. Now I found the tape. We were lost this tape earlier on, but I found the tape. So I'm just going to pop that into there. Okay. And pop that into our Gemini. Lovely. Right. Oh, oh, I, love nice that, I love that crunching sound. That always gets me going when I hear that crunching sound. I know it's working. You know it's working. I do know it's, it's working. Come nice and cleanly cut. Definitely. So if I just move that out of the way one moment and then take that up. So, I mean, look at this. Just no problem whatsoever. Just give that a little flick, as Sarah would tell you to do. Okay. Right, and then, so if you can see, it's even cut out the lovely chair. Let's take that out. And the table. Oh, now I think I might have lost my cake bit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Where's no. it it's gone? Somewhere we'll find it's it. It's disappeared. We will. We we'll will find, find it. it. So if I just move all these out of the way, but look at the lovely detail on there. How beautiful is that? It is. I'm mean, imagining framing that. So let me just move those out of the way. Okay. Right. So got them on there. Right. So. I mean, it's almost a shame to throw that waste away. <laughs> well, you could actually use that as a stencil, couldn't you? You could indeed. And if you're watching later on, we've got a, a oh. little trick with that with one of the dies using it, it as a stencil. Left. Right, so I'll just move those out of the way and the plates. Okay. There we go. Right, so to create the background using the stamps, and we'll just put them to one side for now. Right, so I'm going to be using, I'll get our finesse uh, noir black. And just going to just show you how to create that beautiful little background because this is the beautiful thing about this collection you can mix and match it and then literally just by popping that onto there the just going to pop that onto and this is our lovely again double-sided cardstock lovely what a cheat okay a little bit there but okay. I'm just going to show you how you That's would just it. pop that on I'll move that one out of the way because I'll end up with black ink all over but can you see lovely. that lovely detail on there it really Absolutely does beautiful. pick up beautifully, doesn't it? Absolutely. And that's all, literally just going to just do that all the way around. And it doesn't okay. matter if it's faded, because it gives that, that lovely, almost that second generation yes. kind of inking, beautiful. what a lot of us like. I'll just give that a quick little ink just on there. It is I'll a stunning stamp. It is beautiful I mean look how lovely that is and this is literally only going to be on the edging so I'm not too worried about if it is you know um, uh, covered all over or different different shades let me just get a map there because I know lovely this is what I end up getting well instead of just cleaning up there just a little reminder that everything that she's using within the demonstrations bar the ink maybe um, is actually part of that full collection so the cardstock the stamps the dies all those things are the ribbon everything is going to be part of that collection Right, so I'll just show you, because we are using the ribbon in this, to create that lovely uh, gift tag. So what I've just done is I've cut a, a piece of ribbon and okay. I've stuck it onto a 7x7 seven seven card. Just put a bit of tape because this bit's getting covered up. It yeah. doesn't matter if it's tape, sellotape tape or anything. So just pop that onto there. And then we're going to create the uh, background just by popping that onto there. Okay. Whoops, have I put it on a bigger sheet than what I should have? Oh, not to worry. No, not that to can worry. Easily be trimmed down afterwards. And it would help to take the tape pen off <laughs> the lid. Sorry, off the tape pen. <laughs> True crafting style, eh? <laughs> right. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. It is. Yes. So there we go. Onto there. Lovely. Right. So now then, using the paper pack. So what I've just done on there is I've just created uh, one of the six by six and just popped That's that up. onto there. So it's just onto again onto some black black matte black. Cardstock. Yeah. It's a lot harder than when you say it on, on air, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, and just popped one of those lovely paper packs on there to create the background. So I'll just peel off those. Now, what I noticed earlier as well with the demos on uh, the one o'clock show, yep. when you were stamping onto these papers, oh, it really did look as though those yeah. papers had been printed. It just took the ink so beautifully, and the precision of those stamps was stunning. It absolutely. Right, so we'll put that on there. Right, so we've got our lovely lady with her chair. And the, the, the lovely thing about this is that Sarah's designed it where, look, she actually just sits and fits neatly. Oh, she does, How beautiful she's is that? She's got a nice little curved bottom. That I mean, I don't know who, does, who, who, who thinks of all this, but obviously, <laughs> the, you know, it's just, look how fantastic that is, just how it sits together. Uh, and then we've got the table. 
there like that. I've got so, to admit, I was playing with this earlier. I was, <laughs> I wanted to see how it looked if the lady was falling off a chair, and it actually <laughs> did work quite well. Well, if you think with it being a silhouette, uh, a silhouette stamp, uh, sorry, die, you can actually use it that way. But you could also, you could have two of them sat together yeah. at the table. How lovely is that? It would look lovely. All right, so just pop that onto there. Okay. All right. Just use a bit more of the tape on there. But just I thought move about that slightly it. Slightly into the middle, so we can. Yep, no problem. All right, so I'll just pop that there. Lovely. And then I would help to have the chair as well, so we'll just have <laughs> the chair on. And then just sit that there like that. There we go. Oh, do you know really what lovely. I did? I could have used my gilding wax. So if I just There's still take, time to put some on the board, course, maybe. Yeah, so we'll just pop some a little bit on there. So I'm going to use one of the gold ones on there, but there's lots of different ones out there. Top tip, though, when you're using this, because it's that lovely mousse, and I mean, look at this, it just it just goes on forever. I've been using this pot for absolutely ages. But just, you don't want to be going on straight away with it all fully on, because it'll just, it'll clog. So what we'll just do is just dry a little bit off with your finger, and then just rub it across. And the best way I always tell anybody when I'm demonstrating is that if you start off with it lighter, yep. you can always add more you to it. You can build up. Yeah, yes. you can build it up. Rather than going straight in, normally what I tend to do is I just go straight on and let that. So we don't want that. So we're just going for a, a lovely soft look. So I'll just pop that on there. Very shabby, yes. Very shabby chic. Isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful. Yes, very shabby chic. It yes, it's really lovely. Right, so just pop my tape off that I prepared earlier. These are lovely dies again because the fact that you've got it's the borders so detailed and the as well. And I mean, if you think about adding, like, if you put on two, you could add two onto there. Do you know if you were framing it? Exactly. You could yeah. frame. And you could and I mean, slip into it as well, couldn't it? If you want to yeah. shorten it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely. As well. But the beautiful thing about that collection is that there's more than the one choice. So you've got your six, exactly. and your four, and your two, exactly, and then yeah. your borders as well. So just pop that onto there. Just pop that on there. Now that frames that beautifully. I just think. That's all it needs, it isn't does it? indeed. Now, I don't know what's happened to her little cake, but I'm not going to worry too much. <laughs> we'll find it later. <laughs> we will do, yeah. Probably She's find on a it diet. when I'm <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of us at this time of year. Right, so using the uh, beautiful word and st uh, the sentiments and the die stamp, yep. we've got the bon and then the jour. Ooh, and I'll look at that. Nice. And that's what I love about that stamp set is that, that you can combine the two or so you, you can, certainly you can, can mix and match with them. So again, I'm just now, I would normally just run that through my iron, but. I uh, do like that, that you've got those different size uh, pieces there. So you've got the larger lettering in the different font exactly. in the beginning of the word. It just works beautifully and it kind of breaks everything up and gives more interest as well doesn't it it does now it's very very busy for the uh the full collection here that is the one that most of you are going for and i'm not surprised with the saving it is approaching limited stock now so wow. please if you've got that in your baskets don't hang around i knew it do would. check the baskets out yeah, yeah it's gonna knew. go so um you are taking advantage of that lovely saving that you, we've given you here today fantastic array of products you've got now right. then, we're using the flowers here, aren't we? We uh, are indeed, Debbie? yes. So I will going to pre on the linen card because it gives it more of a linen feel. Okay. Just pre-cut that out and then roll up. But we'll do one later on and okay. I'll show you how yeah. to use it. So just for the purpose of this one, I've just already okay. pre-done two already. And it looks beautiful. Yep. Now, and then we're just the going to do the inside to do. So the inside literally is just using our lovely double-sided um, pearl yes. cardstock. Using the stamp again, just on the corner, and then again, if I just show you on here, I've just popped just just to frame for the um, for, for you to put your the little pocket pocket yeah, yeah to create a pocket. You don't want to put your tape all the way around. You just put it on the sides on the front. Of course, yeah, yeah. Perfect. And again, using in, in, in the linen cardstock and the paper the paper pack there. So if I just oh, I'll just ask you to hold that one. Okay, moment. I certainly will. Thank you very you. much. I'll put that back on there. So we can pop that there. There we go. Fabulous. Yes, Collect these you. little bits up before know, we get lost that's, that's as well. It's like this at home when I'm at home. <laughs> I end up, start off with that lovely, lovely clean space and then I end We're up and it just Debbie. piles on. Before I know it, they're all piling on top of me and everything's... <laughs> it just, oh, I just think, why do I do this to myself? Lovely craft space is wonderful, but when you start piling it with all your uh, collections and everything, Right, so I do like the fact that you've left that white border around there yes. as well, that you've not covered the whole of the back piece. Yeah. It just it finishes it off, it frames it beautifully. Yeah, and then we're just going to pop that onto there like that, and that creates the pockets. I'm just going to put that down and lay it up from the bottom. But then that creates your pockets. And this is like something that you could use, you know, with... Um, 
if you want to take your mum out for tea. Exactly, yes. Tea for two. Really nice. A loved one. Yeah. A loved one. And Valentine's Day is coming fast approaching. It certainly it is. is. Will you marry me? Could be in there. <laughs> is that an offer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> no, never again. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, and I'm just going to add that one on there. And just look at that. And just, in fact, just pop that. In fact, no, we'll put that inside. Just well, you. that's the beautiful thing, isn't it? You just can put it wherever yeah. you want. Those elements are just the perfect size to be able to decide whether you want them on the inside, that's, or even on the back. You exactly. know, we love to decorate the backs of our cards as well. Yeah, and there we go. And then you just tie that together at the bottom. Let me move the red tape. That tape gets absolutely I know, everywhere. it's so static. There we go. And that's, that's that your is finished stunning, card Debbie. Stop. Absolutely beautiful. Well, just a reminder again of all the different elements within the bundle you know we're going to take it to the website because we want you to see the whole collection we want to see everything that's available you know you can shop ahead of us you can go there for the uh, the quickest route actually for shopping as well it is the quickest and the easiest route you can see all those items within the collection whether it's the one day special or the full collection or if you want to buy it individually we do understand of course everybody has their own uh, price pocket but I think as uh, Sarah said earlier on today actually once you start popping things in your basket and you see the demonstrations you're going to realize that actually oh I need that to go with this and I need that to go with that everything's there for you look at the reviews as well five star reviews right across the board there I can see all the prices there all the savings are there and of course take advantage of the flexi buys as well when they're there for the collections wonderful products lovely lovely range of products right now then there's very few of these left for the full collection so I can't stress enough you know do check your baskets out if you want to make sure you get those we don't want you to miss out on those but back to the one day special just a little bit of a reminder again as to what you're getting you're getting that six by six paper pad it's absolutely stunning 48 sheets in there the colorways and the palette is absolutely gorgeous a dreamy look that vintage look the Parisian look you've got those elements of the dies and the stamps within the papers as well so everything matches perfectly then we've got that beautiful border the corner and border die that uh, Debbie was using there within that demonstration very very versatile set there you can snip into it you can use the items individually you've got different sizes in there that is perfect for your collection the embossing folders we did show you some samples we'll see some more of these later on I'm sure but these are absolutely stunning because these are your 3d embossing folders so you've got that extra depth look at the uh, design of those look at the detail in there whether you want to use them just on cardstock or whether you want to put gilding wax or inks over the top to accentuate the detail you can do absolutely stunning then of course we've got the dies that Debbie was using within the demonstration well we've got the one with the lady on the, at the table with the little cake of course you do get the cake there as well and as Debbie so rightly said you could actually cut that and flip it as well so you could have two ladies sat back to back or you could have one facing right or one facing left depending on what you want and of course the lady with the hat and the dress she looks like she's going for a day at the races absolutely beautiful complete collection there um, well this is the one day special within that you have got those stamps as well those lovely detailed stamps there you saw Debbie using one of them in the demonstration you've got the Eiffel Tower you've got that words you've got the text with the roses as well and you've got the dies and the stamp words as well in another set there so item number 856590 is for the complete collection now the complete collection gives you the extra you've just seen the one day special but with the complete collection you're getting the extras right uh, the way down the counter we can't even see it all in one go it's it's almost impossible to do that but just a reminder you're getting that paper pad again but you're getting the eight by eight the same papers 48 sheets the same beautiful colorways you're getting those lovely embellishments there's two sets of those they're metal charms they look wonderful on your projects as well as little accents absolutely beautiful more dies I know Debbie loves these these are one of her favorites the uh, iconic buildings of Paris but actually those houses could be used for anything they don't have to be Paris it is about the Paris theme but you could use them for all sorts of different reasons I think your, your journals and your scrapbooking as well they would lend themselves perfectly to those and the fact that you haven't got that cutting edge on the bottom so you can change the height and layer up in your own way makes those so so versatile 
absolutely lovely. Now then, don't forget you've got more because you've got those beautiful papers, the cardstock, it's the pearlescent and it's double sided as well. Those beautiful colours that are going to work with all the papers within that paper pad as well. Everything matches absolutely beautifully. Now we've got more stamps at the front as well. I do hope we're going to see these little ones because they're one of my favourite things about the whole collection. They are so cute and again so versatile. Lots of words in there for you, beautiful font as well. You're going to keep going to these uh, stamps, the dies, the papers, the whole collection. There's something for every single occasion, every project that you want to do. And not forgetting, because again it's another one of my favourites, is the seam binding. Now it may sound simple, but this is the most wonderful versatile ribbon that you're going to use. You can colour it as well. You can use your pens, you can use your inks to colour it if you want a different colour ways stunning array of uh, items here as well so the full collection just to remind you the price there now this is also available on the on the freedom and the flexi buy freedom members the price is there for you 143 pounds 77 on the flexi buy you can split this down into three separate payments the payments being 47 pounds 92 each Brand new today, obviously, because it's the one day special. This is the final call. Item number 856590 for that full collection. And you can see everything there on the screen. And there is an awful lot of product. Right, Debbie. Hello. What we're going to do now? Right, so I'm going to dabble, so dabble a little bit into a little bit of mixed media Lovely. using this collection. I've been um, looking forward to this. <laughs> so this this is what we're going to create. It's like a little wall hanging plaque that you could hang up for a bit of home deco. Gorgeous. Using using some of the elements, and I'm going to show you how you can use the stamp, uh, but not on a roll, just by a little bit of tape okay. or, yeah. or, or a bit of scrap paper. So yeah, so that's what we're going to use to make. Right. Okay. So. First things first. Now, obviously, it would take a little bit of time. So this this is where you start off with with your little MDF that you can buy in most places. Yep. Cheap as chips. Cheap as it chips. is. But you can make some creative and wonderful things. You to could. Go in your own and if you circle. couldn't get hold of that, you could use a mount board, maybe or something like that. Or some yeah, chip definitely. Board. Put um, a couple of little holes yeah. in, bit of mount board. Yeah, yeah you're good to go. Lovely. Yeah. Right. So using one of the papers, Ooh, all you need nice. to. Do, I know this paper is beautiful, but this is from the eight by eight pack. This is not from the six by six pack because okay. obviously it just needs to fit across. Yeah. So I've already pre-put that onto there. So all I've used is a bit of tacky glue, stuck that down on, and then literally just all you need to do to cr instead of cutting is just sand it off, and that's what you need to do. Just a to girl after my own heart. I love doing that. <laughs> right. So we're going to use that gorgeous stamp that I used in the previous demo again, just because it's beautiful. But we're going to do a bit of eating embossing. So okay. Just taking your watermark and any of, and I mean, this is just our pad that we use, but your Versamark and all those other different perfect mediums and all the other ones that you can use. This is, you know, more than lovely. Yep. So just pop that onto there and I'm just going to place that literally into a corner. Okay. Right, so just that like is that. a lovely stamp, isn't it? I know you can't it's see so it at the detailed. moment, but what I'll just do is I'll pop on the, um, the heat embossing powder so this is a gold okay. one so i'm just going to pop that onto there and i've just realized Catherine, i haven't you got haven't my paper got underneath paper, have you? yep i need my paper <laughs> otherwise it's going to get really messy let's have a quick look what can i use i'll use that one there we go right so and just knock that over to where the stamp is and then back down the fact that that pink rise slowly, though, if you didn't miss a little exactly. bit, you could go look back. Look at that. You look can at you it? see look that gorgeous detail. design? Yep. And the detail is fabulous. Look at the lovely script behind the beauty. Oh, I mean, it's just... It is gorgeous. This is a stamp that I'll come back to use over and over and over again. And not just in the in the collection. You can take it out and into all the, you know, the crafting. But look how beautiful that is. So I'm just going to eat set that. Now, before I start, let me do what I said I wouldn't do earlier just move it out of the way before it blows everywhere <laughs> because it is fine so because this is um, a mixed media one yeah. normally you would take it underneath from your okay, cardstock yes. however with it being on on like MDF and on top, it needs to be um, on the top yeah. now, normally I wouldn't put the on because the, the danger is there is that you can burn it if you have the you can the overheat it, it yeah, you can, can overheat yeah. it so I'm just gonna just keep that in there until it takes hold Right, well, so that's it. Oh, you know, you never get bored of it. No. I know we say that no, so I often, know. but it is true. It's just, I mean, stamping, I mean, Jan, uh, Jan from uh, the Chesterfield store, she knows it's not my favourite thing. 
<laughs> it's not my favourite thing. Oh, it's going but well. when you get results like this, it's worth it. It's because it, really it is, is beautiful. And I, I must admit, I'm getting more and more into stamping. And this particular collection, oh, it is ooh la la because it's just a gorgeous stamp collection. Now, can you see it's taking hold now? It takes a little bit longer than it normally would with your cardstock, but just because I think it's, you know, it's just got that little bit extra to go through. But you can see it all turning through now, can't you? you How can gorgeous see it is too. that? And that works so beautifully with the paper. Now, that is from the 8x8 pad, as you it said, is, Debbie, because yeah. you need the width to, to work with that piece of MDF. You can see the details at the bottom of the screen for the 8x8 pad. Um, just a reminder that you can buy all the items individually, but the biggest saving is, of course, with that one-day special or the complete collection. That's where the, the biggest, biggest saving is. Now then, there's not many left. There's only a handful oh, of these left wow. now. Yeah, the full collection. <laughs> and of course, because it's a signature collection, yeah, it's, it's not going yeah, to be around forever. It's not no, definitely not. That you're going to keep not. being able to come back to. Especially the paper packs. Well, like I yeah. said, the paper packs especially, my goodness, they usually fly off the shelves because they're, they're just a beautiful, you know, a beautiful pads that you can use time and time again. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a must. Right. There we go. That that's just about set. Lovely. You get you get the idea. And that that if you just hold that up, I don't know if you can see it a little bit more now. Just how oh, much that yes. pops off there. How beautiful is that? It is stunning. It looks yeah. like a piece of paper that's already printed and foiled at the same time. Yep. So I've already pre-prepped a full one because okay. if I had to do the other side, we'd be here forever. Be, <laughs> and it's probably sold out before we got to finish this demo. So, <laughs> so I've, I've now got my base there, ready to add all my extra elements to it. Now, the lovely lady, I'm just going to run her through um, the Gemini. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to create this. So we're going to create the paper piece. Well, a bit like paper piecing, but yeah. using your stamp. So I'm just going to pop okay. that on there, and I'll take that one. I like the, the fact with the dies as well. Uh, you can see it clearly on those lady dies that it embosses all that detailing as well. So the band on the hats you yeah. can see the waistband on the skirt the pleats in the skirt the details on the shoes as well let's just hold this one up so you can you can see that now this one has been inked a little bit as well let me just see if i can tip that so there you can see the detail yeah just there. by but adding a little bit of ink around the outside i mean it's just it just create it just pop makes a pop slightly it does doesn't yeah. it yeah yeah so and you can of course add other accents as well if you want a little earring in there maybe put a, a small piece of ribbon or a little tiny flower on a hat as well do, that would yeah. really bring that to life as well right so let me just grab my uh where's the mite yeah just the nouveau it. drops would work perfectly with those maybe a pearl necklace around her neck that would be lovely right i can't find the ink that i'm looking for so i'm just going to okay. use an ink just to show you and i'll do it with the black just to to create just to, to show you how you can create this pattern okay. with the with the um with a stamp so oh i think she'd look nice with a black and white dress anyway oh yeah a bit classy she really definitely is. so all i'm just doing is taping over and if i just tape there over her legs so it's all i'm doing is is just keeping and i've just taped that down so she doesn't move i may possibly just put a little bit over her hat just in case because i know how okay. clumsy i am right it's safe than sorry <laughs> definitely so i'm just going to stamp a little bit it's no point stamping all of it because it's only eating a little bit of the dress so just by creating a little bit over there and just lining her up okay and it really doesn't matter which part of the stamp you work no, with. no definitely not but oh, that, I like so that if i just i know that looks very effective doesn't it let's just hope when i peel it off it creates that because this is what i love doing with all, you know it's just using it in a different way but look how lovely so if i just lift her off with all the tape oh, oh i mean i am actually look I, I do like her in the black that and white is stunning i would give her a pair of black shoes and oh maybe a yeah black and maybe a black well. hat yeah that cool would look lovely a little little diamond on these a little diamond well. and what yep. about a little red rose on a hat or something like that just to give oh, that pop yeah. of color definitely look lovely yes, it did, didn't work out too bad did it, it worked work? out beautifully it did so i'm just going to wipe that up however because i want it to flow <laughs> <laughs> One with what we've got, with what we've got prepped, I've actually done her already, and that's using the Mida sink. It's just that I can't fill up the money. Find it on here. <laughs> It'll turn, it'll turn up as soon as we as go soon up as we, there. Yeah. Along with the little cream cake. That's Most definitely. Most definitely. Now then, using our lovely ribbon, you're just going to thread that through to the to the two holes that you've got in yeah. there. Um, and then I've literally just... Now, this is the lovely uh, flower, the one that Sarah's designed, especially yes. this time, because we've, we've, we've brought out lots of flowers before, but this one's got the same and built in. Yeah. So you can actually create your flower. And I mean, this is just using... Well, it's been done three times. Okay. So it's a very, very... 
like can you see there okay. just hold it still so the camera can get that's it lovely yeah so you can just see using those the three different shades different, in yeah, there definitely lovely. and that's just create because you can go as small as you want or as big as you want like you've seen with some yeah. of the samples we've, earlier we have got I'm, I'm yeah grab a couple yeah. of other samples actually just to show the different sizes i'm saying a couple of and these using the gorgeous gorgeous cute little stamps that we were talking about earlier as well yeah, I'll just want to show that, that one as well. So again, the different yeah. a little bit of ink on there. And you get those stamens in the centre as well. Absolutely beautiful. So it just shows the difference in the size there, Debbie, it because does. you said about you know using the different layers. Another one there that's you know just just done with um that's beautiful with that embossing fold. You can see the detail of that as well. It is, yeah. That's using your inks on the reverse. So do you know Sara did one yeah. the other way? Well, this is exactly the same the other way around. So yeah, it's just, it's just gorgeous, yeah. And you can use your, do you know, your embossing powders and your, you can use all those kind yeah, of things in there. absolutely. Right, right, so that's just stamping with those beautiful, cute little stamps. Again, heat emboss to match there. And then the lady. And then we've also got a lovely little... The, Eiffel Tower cut out again, already inked as well, that we're going to just add on to there. And okay. that is as simple as that, she says. That would be a says. lovely little gift <laughs> if you've been travelling or if you knew someone that was going maybe to Paris or on yeah. honeymoon or something like that. Can oh, you imagine definitely. if you got married and you're going yeah. to Paris on honeymoon, Fancy. you could actually personalise the other side of that, you know. God, that's, do not that's disturb a really good and, and do not <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to pop the Eiffel Tower on there as well. Don't know why I put a bit of glue on top. It's just going over the edge. I <laughs> think I'm losing my marbles today. All right, and then just pop that there. I do on love the those little elements, those stamps there. They, they just work so perfectly. If you've got any... Not that you have, Debbie, you certainly haven't, but maybe if you've got one or two little splodges that shouldn't be on your card or, you know, you've got one or two bits that you weren't quite happy with, they're perfect for covering up because you can yeah. layer them up, you could, you know, place them exactly where you want them and they're, they're just such a lovely size, aren't they? They are. And then we've got the lovely ooh la la. I like that. Ooh la la. <laughs> no, it's so cute, isn't it? But yeah, and I, I love the fact that with these these wording, it's got the outside edge as well as the cutting in, so you can cut yes. in. But it's, it's just beautiful, absolutely it really beautiful. Is. Very delicate font yes. to that as well. If you Very don't use so. it with the background there, it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so if I just add that on there, and when I'm, I'm not going to start tying ribbing because I am fingers <laughs> and thumbs. But there you go. That that's that finished. That is lovely. Now, well, really I, will, I will do a giveaway with this one. Do you want to do Ooh. a giveaway with this Are we allowed one? to do that? Are we, we allowed do that? To Debbie do wants to do a giveaway. Can we do that? With it being my first show on my own. With yes. it being the first one. Yeah, and I will promise I'll, I'll thread the ribbon through and get that finished. But how beautiful is that? Yeah. Right, well, we'll find a way of sorting something out there. <laughs> right. Okay, now that ribbon, Debbie, again, you've got a nice width there, but the fact that it's seam binding, you yeah. can really sort of close that down to get it through small holes, and it gives the most beautiful finish when you tie it into it a does. bow. It does. Whether it's a single, a double, a triple bow, whatever you like, I, I just love seam binding. So, yeah, Debbie will make sure she puts the ribbon in later. I will but, indeed, Jess. Do you know, we've got so many wonderful samples on the show, we don't want to miss out seeing them, so let's show you a few more, a little bit more inspiration for you, something from this full collection. some gorgeous samples there such a wonderful collection it is it, i've got to say it's right up my street this one now then let's just show you one or two more samples as well because we've talked about the stamps we've talked about the dies now i know debbie's going to use the eiffel tower die shortly yeah. but there it is in stamp form as well isn't that beautiful again so using the papers using the stamps using obviously using your other mediums the inks and things that look at the detail again That's within just that, a that, die, sample, that, that, that using actually. that beautiful border it's 
Gorgeous. Along with the, oh, that, I mean, that's just been heat embossed as well, but it just fetches out the detail. And, oh, it's just it really gorgeous, does. And I want to mention, stuff. actually, this one here, because I don't think we've, we've actually pointed that one out. That's another die that's within the whole kit. It is. The full collection, isn't it? It is, yes. Sarah used that in one of her demonstrations, and I used it in one of my You, you did. Yes, yeah, yeah. so you can yeah. catch that on Rewind yeah. at 1 o'clock if you want to see that one being used as well. Very, very busy. The one-day special very busy but the full collection is the one that most of you are going for you can see there on the screen all those elements within that collection absolutely wonderful you've got the papers you've got the dies you've got the stamps you've got the embossing folders you've got embellishments you've got oh so many things the ribbon the whole lot now you are saving a great amount of money today because on the one day special you're saving 27 pounds if you go to the full collection you're saving again now you can split this down into flexi buy three payments of 53 pounds 25 unless of course you're a freedom member then you've got that extra saving again of course, you've got no postage and packaging either. So if you're not already a member, it's worth taking advantage of that now. Item number 856590. I can tell you we are very, very, very limited on this. So please, if you've got this in your basket, do check it out. We don't want you to lose it because it is very limited. Right, so I'm using the Eiffel uh, Tower die. Yep. And I'm going to create this beautiful card here, using it in a slightly different way. So, oh, lovely. Yes, it's using it as a silhouette. So it's like a negative effect. So, here we go. I've just cut that out. Now, we'll be able to use that for later on. So, I'm just going to put that to one side because what I'm after is this. Okay. It's the negative. What, what, the bit that we yes. throw in the bin. So, it's but just we showing it, do we? Oh, we no, no, as crafters, no. None no, no, of us, no. <laughs> definitely not. Why would you? Because look at that beautiful, it's, it's a gorgeous silhouette. Right. So, I'm just going to pop that onto uh, some stamping card. Okay. And I'm just going to place that over the top. Now, this is this will be the tricky part. <laughs> Trying to get it straight. <laughs> Since I've cut it all wonky. <laughs> right. So, I'll just pop that there, what I think looks straight. <laughs> Now, I'm using a couple of the ink pads that I used earlier because I love purples and I love pinks. So I've got the fuchsia oh, yeah. and the crushed velvet in our Harmony range. Um, I know, just beautiful. And what we're aiming to go for is for, uh, well, I mean, you can use as many colours as you want, so it doesn't don't have to be two colours, but you're just going to just blend over the top. Now, you could use your stick and, stay, uh, sorry, your stick and spray to yep. hold it down so it doesn't move, but for speed and time and essence, we're just going to crack and of on. Of course, if you did get that not quite central, you could easily trim your card down because there's no set size. Exactly. It's, you know, it's not like you've got to do it to a certain uh, strict size. You can trim it down to whatever you want, and the more layers and backgrounds you put behind it as well, you can make the card bigger. So, yep. and that's oh, what well creates done, that. Debbie. Look How at fabulous that. is that? So, I yeah, would say that's so, pretty much in the middle. So, don't throw your waste, use it for you know, yeah. to, a, bit, a bit like again, that's it. It's just yeah. a bit more creativity. So, I'm just gonna pop that Lovely. to one side, and then I'm just gonna stamp the beautiful, um, that gorgeous French sayings. There's absolutely beautiful, there's loads on there. It's a big stamp, I mean, you can tell because that's one of our biggest rocker blocks that we do, yeah, and it fills nearly all of that so I'm just going to ink over the top with our, uh, our finesse black ink now I love that as a background stamp but if you wanted to you could pick out the individual you could yeah you and well, again by you? taping if you take yeah top, yeah you, you know you can use it as a full you know the full I and mean, because it's gorgeous as it is like that as the full one but you can like you said just by using elements of it again similar to what we did with the previous one with the flowers we only use part of it we did, you could do exactly we? the same there so i'm just going to stamp just that on ink, the top. You know, i'll just turn this one around so you can see all the different elements within that one stamp you've got a crown in there you've got all those words in there you've got a fleur de lis in there chocolate you've got the word there as well bonjour all those french words absolutely beautiful of course it reminds you straight away because it is parisian you've got all those parisian words there right and there we go i've just stamped that over the top just to give that, oh, that, that lovely looks background lovely. it's beautiful isn't it? it really is right so all we're going to do now is put the card together pretty quickly okay. so just a card stock just like that five by yep. seven uh and then i'm just going to turn that if i do it the right way around because i know what i'm like <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to matte and lay. Again, using MAC, MAC Black. If I could say this word today, <laughs> it'll be a miracle. The MAC, Mac Black. That's oh. it. Thank you. Everybody in the gallery is saying it as well. Everybody's, everybody's getting tongue-tied. and it's, I, a, it's a de real... I'm definitely tongue-tied today. <laughs> It's not easy, especially if you try saying it fast and lots of times. You'll try that one. So I've just literally taken another piece small. I usually, whenever I'm matting and layering, I take it down like a quarter of an inch. Yeah. So all I've done is taken uh, another piece of stamping card. And again, similar to that technique, just a little bit of each of the colours on, uh, on either, you know, just 
around That's the edges. It. And again, you don't have to be specific where you place no. that because you're going to cover the edges. So no. if you're a little bit frightened of inking, this is one of those projects where you really don't have to worry about it at all. No, not at all. So I'm just going to pop that onto there and then using our lovely uh, background one that's going to go on the top. And again, I've just gone down another quarter of an inch to frame it. And you'll find that you get like a lovely, you know, um, that is it, gorgeous. Just, it, just, it yeah. just flows. Now, you could add your ribbon. I've not added my ribbon on this particular time, but I'm just going to pop that onto there. And again, okay. using one of our lovely flower from the flower dies, just already pre-done this, but inked it. Use the linen card stock in the lovely lilac section and then just use the fuchsia on the outside of the edges just to give that a lift. So I'm just going to pop that, that onto lovely. there. Have right. we got a cutout, uh, Rose, that's not been rolled up yet? I've just been said I cannot find it. Oh I dear. had three earlier, oh. and I've, I seem to have misplaced them. Oh, I dear. Don't, don't ask me what I've done, just so that I could show we'll you. We'll have a closer look at the die in a second, so we've not really seen that close to hand, have we? But, oh, Debbie, that looks there absolutely lovely. So, again, a very simple card, but so pretty. And a lovely technique there again. So, remember, when you use your dies... They've got more than one use. It's not just the die cut itself. You've got that negative. You can exactly. use a lot of the dies as stencils as well. Wonderful. I mean, you saw Love how it. quick and easy that were. It were quick and easy to do that. So, lovely. Right now, there is only a few minutes left to get the one day special. So, I'm going to take you back to the website just so you can view everything in full. You know, take advantage of the one day special. You are making that amazing saving. And of course, you can split that down as well uh, into those flexi buy payments. The price will, of course, go back up at six. This is the one day special. It's the final call. So there's literally minutes left. So please do check out your baskets. You've got that in there. It's very, very limited. It's going to go. Um, what an amazing set what an amazing stunning set i it's absolutely, absolutely love it. beautiful it is and i'm so excited to be part of this uh sorry leaving me in oh, charge Debbie. today <laughs> you've been a joy and you've done so so, so well much. but let's look at one or two more samples oh, before we go so many to choose um, from oh yeah let me find something that i've not seen before can i just show this oh, one I, this I love one. this one if i just show show you that one how beautiful is that absolutely gorgeous and it's using uh, the stamp set onto some and that's actually onto some uh, vellum do you know that works so there, yeah? well and it's using one of our previous collections that we have the storybook which was immensely popular uh, and sold out i think quite quickly because it's just beautiful absolutely gorgeous it is. That one. and again using those roses there as well now this one very different so we did see this more in the earlier show on the one o'clock show the uh, couple on the seat that is another die that's within the collection as well and again, you've got that lovely box card there, that little framed card. So you can see there the depth. You can build up those backgrounds. Those dies without the, the cut edge, you can build them up and lay them up exactly how you want. Another one that I love this because I think the colours, again, oh, yeah, are just so beautiful. Absolutely. That's that like background, a card, yeah, it's it really is. Gorgeous. Again, showing off those dies without the cut edge at the bottom so you can layer up exactly, exactly how you want. Love how that's framed with that soft green there with the border die as well. And another personal favourite of mine, how gorgeous is that? I just love that silhouette die. It's absolutely beautiful with the papers, with the flower and the lovely stamps. Absolutely it really stunning. is. And something, again, it's the lady die again, but completely different colorways but again how stunning is that that sepia look there with a little bit of lace at the bottom you've got the eiffel tab those wonderful stamps again and that die cut a very simple but very very effective card again lovely and another one of my favorites absolutely gorgeous gift bags look what you can do it's not just for card making you can make lovely gift bags and that's by using that beautiful 3d embossing folder they absolutely are stunning. gorgeous the beautiful. detail within those embossing folders so of course the one day special is a great buy you're making that saving but if you're lucky enough to get the full collection you're making that bigger saving of course reminding you again there that you've got that freedom price 143 pounds 77 you can split down the payments into a flexi buy you can pay over three months so you only need to make the one payment now everything will be shipped to you, you can be working with all these lovely products and then pay two subsequent payments two months following uh, one month one payment one month the next the, the third month absolutely beautiful more samples we've got here debbie because i don't yeah. think it's important to show as many as we can i know because they um, i mean the design team have worked absolutely fantastic on this collection they've just blown me away and i love these these bridge cards are really really in at the minute i love making them myself personally but that's just absolutely gorgeous look at that
It is gorgeous. And How using those little uh, stamps again on the side there, those little sort of potion type stamps, this is another one of my favourites because it shows off the embossing folder beautifully. It does, and also those gorgeous, those beautiful little trinkets there. Can you see that? How beautiful is that with the embellishments? Just it adding really that is. extra little bit of detail from your embossing folders to your lovely stamps and your flowers. Stunning. Absolutely it is stunning. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't forget you've got the cardstock as well, you've got the ribbon, you've got those miniature stamps, you've got so many different dies. We didn't see it much today, but the, the little seat there with the couple on, perfect for um, engagement cards, anniversary cards, and retirement that's what Paris cards, is all about, whatever you it? like. It's the city that's of love. That's it, love. exactly. It's, the city of love. it's been a busy show again. Thank you for joining us. Now, you can still see the details on the screen there. For that large collection, you will get the whole of this counter. I can't emphasise that enough. We just can't get it into one <laughs> shop for you. There's so much of it. Absolutely Debbie, gorgeous. Debbie, it's been wonderful. You've Thank done you a, for a sterling me. job. You, you really yes. have. Can't wait to see you back again. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting Debbie as well. Been a very busy show. Please stay tuned and see what's coming up next. Right, we've got John Next Door One Day Special just about to launch. Can't wait to see what we've got there. Then it's Craft Prize Drop with Dave. And back to John Next Door for the One Day Special at 8 o'clock. Hi, I'm Debbie from Crafters Companion. I have a real passion for paper crafting. I've been paper crafting for around 15 years now and it is just something that's built and built on the enjoyment that I do out of all the products that we receive with Crafters Companion. Working with Hochanda has given me such a boost in my confidence, but not only that, it actually gives me the pleasure of being able to bring inspiration to all the Hochanda viewers out there. We love hearing all what you have to say, and we love showing you all that we can do. So join me with Crafter's Companion on Hochanda. These fantastic extra strong permanent glue tape pens are a massive 22 metres in length. This amazing value three pack of glue pens are super strong, double sided and are suitable for use on all types of paper, card and are even strong enough to make boxes. To take advantage of this great deal go to hachanda.com. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. John next door, although we're like a semi-detached at the moment because yes. we're so we're close. very close. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, it's great to have your company, and we've got a brand new one-day special here on Hochanda. We launch a brand new one-day special every evening at 6 p.m. This is an incredible deal. This is your one-day special. Two payments of twenty-one pounds and forty-nine pence. We're already busy. It doesn't surprise me because when John is here, we have some wonderful demonstrations and we have some fascinating dies, and that's exactly what we've got here. Hopefully so. Mm, oh, yes. absolutely I, so. I have been beavering away on these. 
um, for quite a while. So what you've got, you've got the square seam box card. Yes. So I launched the seam box card in a rectangular form in September, I think, last year. And everybody asked, could we have a square? Yeah. So we've got the square. But what I also designed to match with it or to use separately is this die, which is called the Oakham. So this is a die set. So you've got here your square seam box, all the layers you would get in the standard seam box, the square version, brand new, and then launching with it, you've got this, which is the Oakham, which is actually one, two, three, four, five dies. It looks amazing. Designed to fit, but you can use it in so many ways. I mean, I'm absolutely swamped with samples. Yeah, we are. We're going to run through some of those for you. You are saving £7, and you can pay this and divide the cost into two payments. £21.49, your first payment, and then your PMP is on top of that. However, if you're a Freedom member, then there's no PMP to pay. We will send this directly to your door, even if you are the boy next door, like John is. These are gorgeous samples. They are. I've got to say thank you. I've had some really good friends help me with these. So I think this one is Leslie Larkins. Yes. Or Leslie Lakin. She keeps shouting at me because I keep getting her surname <laughs> wrong. Absolutely beautiful. So here she's used the box on the front of the card with the lattice. But the idea of the box is, of course, this is your card, but then you've got the inside as well. So everything ties together. So you've got the depth. And again, it's been designed so that this will work as a large letter. Oh, right. So the depth is enough to keep your flowers safe or whatever you want to put inside it safe, but it won't cost you a fortune to post because even with an envelope, it's still well within the guidelines of a large letter. And here's a great example of keeping that flower safe because when we open it up, there it is inside. Love that one. Love the shimmer on that. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I, I love that one. That's another Leslie. I want to show you this one, which is um, from Mrs. Duck. Oh, I met Mrs. Duck today. Mrs. Yes. Duck is in the building. She is. She is. She is hiding in the green room. <laughs> but I love this. It's just so clever and it's very quick to make. Of course, no depth, no weight, just three of the box, boxes together. And work perfectly. Or to give you Leslie's version of home decor. Oh, you wait to see this. this one. There we go. Don't think I'm tall enough to actually it. Isn't hold that it. lovely? Now, we might need to make two of these because our producer, Lottie, <laughs> is finding out the gender of her baby this week. So one of these could be uh, for Lottie this it week. It might have to be. Hopefully this one. I believe she would like she, a pink. Version. Yeah, yeah, but she'll be happy with yes. the pink Whereas or I the blue. I would say, to stop being so stereotypical, <laughs> you, if, if it's a boy, you can have the pink still. Yes, you can. Yes. Now, we do have some wonderful card um, paper on the show. And here's an example of the die using... Um, uh, that paper now which way it doesn't really matter which it way doesn't matter this. in the slightest i love this color combination i love these new colors yes they're beautiful Think they're absolutely gorgeous they're sort of it's like someone's taken it's like someone's taken blue and then knocked all the heck out of it yes they really have yeah they really have or taken this sort of I think this is called Mouse Grey, this one. It's gorgeous, Just isn't really it? really beautiful. You can shop ahead and you can see the details at the bottom of your screen. 40 sheets of vintage card. Uh, you've got the shell, the pink, the mouse grey and the old blue and the top. But you, we will be taking a look at that later. One more sample, if I may, if I may, uh, because I think this is beautiful. I really do. And that is using, if I bring this up and grab that, there you go, the centre part of that. Isn't that fabulous? The idea I wanted with this die was that you had one die that would make you multiple. I yeah. wanted you to be able to make 20, 30, 40 different looks from it because I think that's what's important. We don't want one trick ponies. No. We've all got a lot at home. We've all got a lot of stash at home, haven't we? Let's face it. So it's got to do something different. It's got to do something new. And it's got to be variable to me. And I, that's what I did with this one. Well, you've certainly done very well. And we are very busy for the one day special. Two payments at £21.49. pence. It is available on Flexibuy 996-887. Uh, pop that into your basket. Check on out. Make sure you get that. Assure yourself of the product. And then you can sit back and watch the rest of the show. Or use the money you're saving to add to something else because we've got more for you on the show this is also very busy already mm. i love this stamp and die set this is the blousy poppy and this works for anyone who's seen my gerbera daisy or has seen my poinsettia which was really popular this is the next sort of in the series and this is the poppy so of course you're getting the stamp which is one single stamp with the registration marks i always get my fingers wrong 
was talking to Debbie about this earlier. <laughs> then you've got the die that just fits over the top. Yes. Which will cut you out all of the detail. So what you can actually find is, if I show you this one here, Isn't you can that see detail? there all the detail of the of all the detail of the flower is in there from the stamp. And that's also using the one day special right there. So if you are going for the one day special, it would be lovely to marry up with that they, design. They work so well yeah, together. Yeah, they do. And at, at the bottom here, you can see. I have to say thank you to Martine Smith who will be joining me tomorrow on the oh, show. Oh, really? Oh, fabulous. She's the expert in flowers, um, it was certainly when it comes to the foam. But this is, these are all made with the poppy dye. All of those? So here we've got a traditional poppy, we've got more of a Himalayan poppy, we've got a chrysanthemum, uh, not a like a... Um, a peony, rose? No, the... Car carnation. carnation. That's it, carnation. Um, and the rose, all made with the same dye. That is fabulous, which I think isn't it? Is just amazing. And faux flowers are so popular at the moment. They're very, very on trend. So many of you are making them at home to add to your cards because it gives you that vintage look, doesn't yeah, it? it? And really also does. adds that extra detail. I think it's beautiful. I mean, these on here, they've got the white uh, poppies in here. You can have them flat, you can have them protruding, you can have them in that 3D style. Looking again, absolutely beautiful time and time again. What a lovely example that is as well now if you do want to get hold of this it's only 17 pounds and 19 pence you're saving five pounds it is an incredible deal it really is and if you wanted to pop this into your one day special it will only be 8.99 today because you'll split the cost into two take advantage of that um, right, okay, we are approaching 20% of that. We've only just come to it. A lot of you are looking ahead on the website, as you normally do. So well done, everyone that's got that so far. 20% of the stock already gone. Now, with those beautiful sets there, you might want to add some flourishes. You might want to add some fern. You might want to add some detail. And that's exactly what we've got here. Yeah, so what I wanted was to, again, I love foliage dyes. Yeah. I think they make a real difference. They'll sort of judge up any old flower that we've got, but create a real statement on a card themselves. So we've got the ferns. So in here, you've got two different sizes, both of them mirrored. So you've got four dyes in there that will give you the very delicate ferns. Then you've got the sort of leafy flourish. So this is a wide, large flourish yes. with the leaves on it. And again, you've got two dyes which are mirrored. So again, you've got them going in both directions, which makes such a difference to me. Yeah. And the flourish was designed as well so that when you cut it out, the piece that's left behind is still pretty. Oh, how lovely. This is a gorgeous card. Look at this when we open it up. And you've got the flowers on the inside with those flourishes as well. Isn't that such a lovely idea? And something you can make and create. Excellent. Love these. If you do want to go for them, £19.99, pence, six dies in total. But you don't have to use them as flourishes. You could use them in all kinds of different ways in your projects. £19.99, pence, excellent value for money. 368165 or, of course, two payments of £10 if you want to go for this with your one-day special. Um, and speaking of one-day special, let's take a look at some inspiration. Lovely cards there and inspirations. Now, most of them using this card stock. Mm. This really is beautiful. A third of the stock has already gone. So if you do want to get hold of this, you're getting 40 sheets in total. You get 10 sheets of each colour. They're all packaged beautifully. Treat yourself. £12.99, 186 516 of course, if you're going for this with your one-day special, you can add this to your flexi order. You'll have two payments of £6.50. Isn't that brilliant? Love the colours of I these. I love these colours. I saw these, and they, they kind of just popped up on the Crafts 2 website. Yeah. I think Uncle Peter picked them, because um, neither myself nor Jane, who picked a lot of the other colours, had seen these. So they were new, came in, and they were just... I just said, I've got to have those. We've got yeah. to use those. They're just so now. And I yeah. love the fact, like I say... 
they look as if someone's taken a coloured piece of card and, and knocked the heck out of it. <laughs> I love your description. You know, they've just beaten it up and well, taken out the, <laughs> the, the brightness. Well, someone's beaten up the stock because 40% of the stock has gone already. We'll leave those there. You can find them on the website and you can pop them into your basket. Don't miss out. Please check out. Right, what are we going to look at? Right, so I thought we'd look at the scene box. Okay. So I'll bring my dies in, which are on one piece of card, one piece of uh, magnetic, because I gave you mine. To, you certainly uh, so, so we could, could show, the show dies, them off. Because again, all my packaging is just paper envelopes. Yep. There's nothing inside. I don't. Oh, the like dies the are plastic. inside. The dies are inside. Yeah, the dies are but inside. But there's nothing else but just no, the dies loose that. inside the paper packaging, yeah. and the paper packaging is 100% recyclable. Yeah, so you could use it. So maybe. all the plastic's gone. You could cut it. It's actually yeah. quite a nice weight to cut. Yeah. So inside your scene box card, you're going to get this sort of Art Deco, Art Nouveau looking car die. This is what will actually make your box. So most people would think that this section here is the back. Yes. And obviously you fold those in and put a front on. We don't. Okay. This section for most of the projects is your front. Right. So it works backwards. Okay. So what I'm going to do is inside the die set you get two standard dies which will give you an aperture. So if you want just a standard box, you can have that aperture or you can have the clipped corner aperture, which will work really nicely to give you sort of an open scene should you want that. Okay. Your other alternative is to use the Oakham die, which is why I've included it with the one-day right, special. Yes. And as I said, this is five dies. Now this one, you see I've loved using this because it's not clean. <laughs> if you see, it fits exactly in the centre. Perfect. So it's really easy to size. Now, normally, when I was doing the other scene box, the rectangular, I always said to people, you must cut this first and then cut your panel in. This one has been designed with the lines slightly thicker, but also, um, because of the size of it, then you don't need to bother with that. Right. So you can do it all in one pass. Now, a couple of people did say, oh, you're not going to do an 8x8 version. Of course, you can't. Because if you see that that's nearly 8x8 as it is, on the outside? On the outside. Right. So an 8 by 8 would be nearly 12 by 12 and wouldn't fit through our machines. Perfect. So I've done this as a 5 by 5 because it's perfect for smaller cards, but you can mat and layer it up to get it as big as you want. So it gives you more flexibility. Love that. I love so your thought process, John. Put that in. See, there's a cut line all around there. We could just slide our piece of card, and this is the shell pink, and it's a linen texture, which is really hard to show on air, but when you get it at home, you'll see there's a smooth side, and it's like it's like a felt sort of texture oh, over yes, the top. It is, yeah. it, it, like I, I, a fine corduroy. It, it, yes. yes. Yeah. So we're going to put that over the top, and I could just cut that. But what I'm going to do is... I don't like waste, and I don't like making a mess. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to put the next die from the oakum into there. Yeah. Let's get those bits out. And if you notice, that fits exactly in, so it's really easy to shape. Yeah, it is. Because I might as well, while I'm cutting it, cut myself a back panel as well. Why not? So, just going to do that. Pop my on top, and just realise what I was cutting last on this plate. What was that? So, no, I can't say because if you look closely, you'll be able oh. to see what's coming. Oh, <laughs> what's oh, coming right. later on in the year. You had so. me worried then. <laughs> you had me worried. It's for something that's coming it's up. It's for something that's coming later up. Later in the year. Not later in wow. the year. Yes. So don't look okay. too closely at my top plate. I had no idea what you were. Talking yeah. About. No, you can probably just about oh. see. Yeah. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, you can see here. All I'm going to do is ease out, and I love a lattice. Yeah. Lattice, you know, to me, but you see how easily that's all come out and cut. Look at the detail on there. If you turn that over, John, that all oh, that that side, the detail going all the way around the edge, You've got and then the lattice itself. The strange thing is that Look most people that. would think that those individual little dots yes. are put on on a computer, and they are. Yes. And you would think that it's just done with a string, you put, you make a line, yeah. and then you just tell it to do dots. You can't yeah. do that on my software. I drew every one of those every dots individually. Every single one? Oh, that, <laughs> now that is something, isn't it? So, some of them may be off because they were done by me, so they weren't done. <laughs> Well, we're, John, we're approaching a quarter of the one-day special, gone already in just 15 minutes of this live show tonight at 16.15. Um, it is an amazing deal. Sorry. <laughs> 
Right, so what we've got next is, if you can see, I've asked this to cut a lot. Okay. So I can see here in the middle that it's not quite gone through. Right. So all I'm going to do is just take that out, take that out, and I'm just going to rotate that round so that I get these bits. Okay. So it's worth just making sure and checking at this point that everything's cut. What I've actually done is I've asked So you're putting it through without the... Is the die still in there? The die's still in there, right, but not yes. these sections. That's right. cut straight away. Yeah. And if you see all of these little bits, I have my dies made with a Teflon coating. Yeah. And the reason for that is I want everything to come out easily. Okay. I, life is too short to sit there. And I know some people love it doing that. The idea is we get instant confetti. Very good. Just put something on the floor to gather it up. Yeah, yeah they make me stand in a box still. I did used to stand in a box in did the old you? studio. Yeah, did you I really? made that much mess. That is one funny. One of the buddy boxes. Oh, really? Used to stand in one of those. Oh, how hilarious. Let's bring that back. <laughs> I was told I had to stop doing it for health and safety in case oh. I slipped. <laughs> so there's our main panel. I just want to bring this one out. So I wanted to show you what actually happens is I wanted the die yes. to almost in its own way be multi-use. Okay. So the idea was, of course, if you cut that out and you don't put the middle in, you get this large shape here. Right. But if you put this section in as well, you actually get this fine I wondered where that came there. from. I saw that on one of your samples. But it and means I thought... that I can mat and layer easily, yeah. but it also means that I can rotate that round and it fits. Oh, lovely. Exactly on. So that's how we can get more from it. That's, what, that's why I love drawing them, because I can work out, oh, if I do this, I can get another cut from there that you don't know. Because that die doesn't exist. That would be two nesting dies, but of course, that's more money. They don't exist. So you've, you've created and made almost like a die cut, but without an extra die without to make that cut. Die. It would actually be Genius. two dies to make that for you. That is brilliant. Two nesting dies. So we'll take that one out, and I just want to show you a little bit. See how we've got all these dots? And yes, they were all hand-drawn. <laughs> You know, that's incredible. But it's, thank you for doing that, because that looks amazing. It did nearly kill me, but it was worth <laughs> it. But what you can do is, sometimes when you've got dots like this on a die, you'll see some of them you can see the silver. Yes. And some of them you've got a little tracing of card over the top. Yes. So all you do, I'm using the, the tweezers from my blossom kit. Just rub that metal over the top. And that just takes those little bits off. So that, so you can see here, can you see here where it's got a couple? Yep. That just takes them off. Not you. If you do want the Blossom Toolkit, the details are coming up. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming on your screen right now. £14,099. This is a great kit, it really is. It's the Crafts 2 Blossom Tool Kit and Flower Moulding Foam. Uh, so it's going to give you the capability to make and create those beautiful flowers. It's a nice little kit as well, and you've got that lovely little uh, faux leather... Um, what shall I call it? Not a purse. Wallet. Wallet. That's a good idea. Uh, a wallet to hide it in. Or a little folder. What I thought was quite clever with it as well, you've got the, if you notice, you've got as many hoops on both sides. Yes, you have. And one side is filled. I personally put other tools in there. That's a good idea. But the idea of it was, if you're left-handed, you move those to that side. I see. Because what how many toolkits do you buy that are for right-handed people? Yeah, that's true. That is true. If you do want to get hold of this, it's only going to be £7.50 in your flexi order if you're going for the one-day special, because the one-day special is on a flexi order, or if you're spending £60 or more. And your one-day special, details on the screen now, very, very busy for that. So if you can see then, all of those holes are actually then through, cut. That is an incredible so amount of dots. you can actually see the white in between. And you did each and every one? Yes. Singularly? <laughs> yes. Wow. I do feel very sorry for the... the the, the person, because what happens is I, I draw them. Yes. I draw them on computer. Yeah. Um, I, I'd almost, I draw like this. Because I have a pan, I have a graphics tab and a pen yeah. and I draw like this, looking at the screen. I find it very hard to sketch now looking at the paper. Yeah. Um, but what normally happens is you would send your drawing off to the manufacturers and they would get a graphic designer to graphicise it and yes. turn it into the design to go off to be cut or to be manufactured. I don't do that. Okay. I graphicise it myself on my software and I send them the design. Yes. They send back saying, can we change this? I say no and they do what I've done. 
because I want what I want. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? And that's a good thing, John, because because as a crafter yourself and such an expert as well, you understand the end result. I, I look at things as the end result, and that's what I want, and yeah. I want people at home to, to sort of get that yeah. as well. So that's the middle bit, so we'll put that to one side for the minute. Okay, let's so do that. We need that. to show how to put our box together. So you can see nearly everything's come out of there. You can actually see it. Just get it in the right cross. There we go. I'll make Chris very happy. So I'm just going to take out any little bits that have missed, that have not fallen straight out when I pulled it out, but there's hardly anything. And again... Tell you what, arranging the squares was fun. Was it? <laughs> yeah. By hand? Yeah. Oh, that's oh my goodness. I, to be fair, it's one and then it's repeated. So it's a real labour of it, love, it isn't is. it? It is. It genuinely is. It, it really is. I was actually I was saying, I was saying to Debbie earlier, I was at Christmas Day, I was actually reviewing drawings coming back from the manufacturer. Yeah. First thing in the morning before I opened my presents Aww. because they'd sent some back from some new ones because I want it right. Yeah, of course. So if you can see, what you've got is all the lines you need to fold are embossed. Okay. I haven't embossed this, we just cut it. Yeah, we did. The lines are designed there so that they're done for you. So all we do is just fold. And I find it's easier to put my fingers there and just fold. But do you want to just have a go? Because I, I know people think that... I say it's easy because it isn't, because I've done it lots. So just fold over <coughs> like that? Yep. That's it. Easy. It isn't, there's no skill. You no. know, I've, I've not got used to it or anything. You're just literally folding on the line. There you go. You see, I'll say that and I miss one. <laughs> but the point is, the lines are there. You don't need to score them. You don't need to measure them. You don't need to think about it. It's done all for you with that one pass through the machine. And these will work with any die cutting machine. We're using the Gemini yep. here on this show, but they will um, work with any of your die cutting machines. I test them at home with yeah. Big Shot yeah. and with a Spellbinders Platinum. Okay. So when I get my dies through to test, I don't just run them through my Gemini, yes. I run them through the other machines that I've got. Perfect. But you can see there, there's your box. Started. Really simple. So lovely. So what we need to do now is we want, obviously, a back for it and a front. Okay. So in the kit, you'll also get this die, which has a sort of it's a square with a flap. Okay. If that makes sense. It does. So we need to cut two of those if we want to make a back with a front. Two? Yes. Okay. So... I need to just grab some more of If you have any questions, here. by the way, please email in. It is studio at hochander.com. Or if you've got pictures of your projects with John Next Door products, we would love to see them as well. Please put them onto our Facebook, uh, and we will share them if you would like us to do so. And if you want to email them in, you email them into studio at hochander.com. But please do get your orders in. We are incredibly busy. We're busy for the card stock. That's very busy. And we're also busy for the one-day special. Two payments of £21.49 pence, over a quarter of the stock of the one-day special has gone. And we did bring Just a lot. Just to let you know. Yes, <laughs> and we're at, yes, only 23 minutes into the show. So what I did was, this can be a little bit wasteful, and I don't say to waste card, so at home I would actually cut a piece a bit smaller, but I wouldn't waste that, I'd save that. I folded it in half, because it's a simple square, I can easily cut two at once. Perfect. And still get the fold line on both of them because of the way the design, the die is designed. Okay. So you don't have to think, because what someone says to me, right, cut two of these. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to cut one. I can't be bothered. So what we need to do is, I've got one piece there which can obviously make then my front. Yes. And I want one for the back. So... I have to just grab my scissors, which are down there. Is there something you can cover for a minute? Because I've left them in my box. Do you want me to get them for you? If you could. Yes. Just there, right at the... Oh, I can see them. Shall I go in? Yeah. I'm going she's in going, to get the scissors. She's going in. So what you need to do is... Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Um, just simply cut the flap off one. Now, I could have included a die to make one back... To make a back panel, a separate die... That would have added another five or six pounds onto the cost yeah, of the die. What's the point? No point. We've got just one. So there's my back, and there is right. my fold. One for the back, piece. one for the front. Yep. Perfect. So really simply done. But what I want to do is obviously I want to add a little bit of interest into this. Okay. So I'd like to have a different coloured backing to it. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this as just a piece of pearlised white card that I've got. 
actually go for a slightly smaller piece. And now, if I use the die that I've put... Do you know this? I've only just started. What does it look like? I'm already losing pieces. I'm terrible, me. I really am. I could be at home. Because all, you all you've see, all you been seeing before your eyes is dots yeah, the past literally. few weeks. Yes, yeah, it is. All I'm going to do is just place down, this is the outline, the second die in on die number two from the oakum. Just going to tape that one down because I don't want it to move. And again, I know I always say this, but if you're taping a die, don't let it touch your magnetic sheet. Why? What will happen is, when a die is taped to a, to a piece of card, Yes. All the machines are literally mangles. Yeah. Yeah. So they say no matter what might make you've got or anything else, no matter how super duper it is, it's a mangle. Yes. Yeah. With a motor or a handle, that's yes. all it is. What happens when things go through two rollers that go in opposite directions is they move and slide a little bit. Oh. So what happens is in the actual machine, when your die is taped to your card, yes. they can slide freely together. Oh, I see. When your die is taped to your card, but it's held by the magnet, mm -hmm. your die can't move. So your card will move slightly, and sometimes you'll get that bump. Got you. And uh, I found it at home, a lot of crafters said to me, they've, they've cut a shape, they've got like a little bump on it. Yeah. And that's because the card's moved, but the die hasn't. Right. So you either have to have the die on the magnet and the card loose on top. Yes. So that it can move, but can cut freely. Or, if you tape it, yep. you need to make sure the magnet doesn't touch, so you just rotate your sandwich. There you go. So if you've ever found that at home, that you've had that little bump, Number two, certainly there is the fix. Gone shape, so yes. you've got this bump in it. Yeah. But that's why. Like a speed bump. Yeah. Because you've been too quick. I like that, yes. I'll let you have that. Thank you. I will steal. I was going to steal it anyway, yeah, but I like the permission. Fair dues. Fair dues. To be honest. So, what I'm going to do is, this time, take that out, and again, just going to pop out my piece so I can use that either in another project or in this one. Okay. So we've still got all the detail in that, but this is the bit I want. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the section I want because I want to put an interlay into that and I want a nice line around right. it. Right. So to save some time, I have actually already put some red line tape around one I'd cut at home. Okay. Because nobody wants to see me spend an hour putting red line tape round. It just reminds me of the dentist when you're using that tool there, John. It is a bit like one of those mm, um, It sounds things. a bit like it as well. I love this. It's, it's really cool, this one. I can't remember where I got it from or who I borrowed it from. Probably the dentist. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it has got a little sort of... Oh, sort of Yeah, sorry. So, all I'm going to do is just then take this and place it. And you see where it goes really easily. Let's get it in the right place, John. One, two, three, four. But can you see there? Oh, that looks pretty. What you've actually got is yeah. you've not got, you've not had to use another die. Yeah. You've not had to have a set of nesting dies to match with it. Everything is included in the one. Love that. And to get the card cut to the right shape, all we do is fold your flaps the other way. Fold them in. And that then gives you a really simple cut line so all I do could you cut it before you put it on if you, you wanted can, to but what you have to do is place this on top right and drop the die into the right place tape it down and then yeah. remember which sides which yeah so you can do it and I can show you in another show I'll show you tomorrow how okay. to do that but to me it's a little bit more time-consuming um, and for what I'm losing in card, and I'm very much a non-waste, those bits can easily be used. Of course, yeah. I'm missing two little bits. Yeah. Well, you might be able to use those, you never know. I, I probably, actually, they would roll up really but nicely, They would indeed. They? I like that. But then all we've got, fold them back, and we've got inside then... Doesn't that look box. absolutely gorgeous? And that contrast works so well. And you can see that lovely lattice. You can see the dots that John individually placed on there himself. I love the detail that's in this. And the affordability of the one-day special, two paints of £21.49. pence. You can see why we're very, very busy. 996-887. So, all we're going to do now is put the box together. I'd obviously already cut two at home. Now... What you need to do, take the piece you've cut the flap from, okay. and I'm just going to use my red line tape, and your instinct would be 
to put it round all four sides. Yes, because it's going inside. Because it's going on the outside. Of course. It's going on the back. But if you do that, how do you actually get something inside there? Oh. Because you'd have to push anything through the middle. Yes, you would. So what you do is you just put the red line tape around three edges. Okay. Yeah. Then take, again, red line tape or wet glue. You'll find your tape runners. And I, again, you know, I use a brilliant tape runner by Crafts 2. It's a really strong permanent one. Um, it isn't strong enough for boxes. And I've tried some of the other ones that they say are really, really strong. They're not strong enough for the boxes yeah. and the card. You really need to use wet glue or a red line tape okay. for this. Because um, it's disappointing when you make something and it starts to fall uh, apart. Yeah, it's not, especially when you get it delivered to somebody and they yeah. take it out of the envelope and then it starts to fall apart. So we're just going to take those out. And all I'm going to do is just put that little flap corner to corner. Okay. Corner to corner. It's your basic. Done. Perfect. Fold those in and then take your red line tape off using your dentist tool. Oh, I oh. feel really bad actually saying that oh, now, it makes, but it makes it's going to sit funny. in my head now for the, ever on this pokey tool. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, I don't, I don't want to insult any dentists, And just marry dentist, but... one flap to the edge. Okay. And stick that down, yeah? And then pull that side in. All right. Pull that side. In. Ah, I see. Now it makes sense that you need to keep a side. Now it makes sense. But yes, of, course, of course, then, should you want to put something like tea lights in, yes. or jewellery, yeah. or a gift, or knitted, yeah. you know, cl a doll's clothes, or anything, of course, you just put those in, and then you can pop it in and seal it. Look how easy that was, but look how effective that is as well. And just Love that. To put the flap on. And one of the differences, you'll see here the corners are clipped. Okay. What that means is that it can't actually, um, it's, it, come, it doesn't come off easily, if that makes sense. Yeah. When you've got square corners, they can catch. Right. So they yeah. can catch quite easily. So this, it doesn't. But what you must do first is you need to fold it in both directions. Okay. And you need to get basically what I call it is breaking the fold. So it needs to go floppy. Right. So that it folds either way. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but when I put it on, it will. So just take my red line tape off. There we go. Find, there we go, there's my top. Place that on. Close it. But you see, if you don't break that fold, right. it doesn't want to fold that way to open. Yeah. I so love if it. it's not floppy. It will be a struggle to actually open the box up. But there you've got your box done. Isn't that fabulous? And you're loving this as well. Again, we are very, very busy for the one day special. Now, we've had a picture in. Ooh. We've had a picture sent in. This is from Elaine. And we'll take a look at this now. Oh, oh remember beautiful. this show. Remember this show. Do you, John? Now, apparently, she met you at the Peterborough show, oh, John. Oh, very nice. Yes. So, and she made these for her mum to give her theatre tickets for Christmas. So she put the theatre tickets inside. What so a yeah, lot better than, than envelopes. Aren't they fabulous? Uh, thank you so much for sending that picture in. And if you do have uh, photographs that you'd like to send in, then please do pop them on our Facebook or email them in to studio at hochanda.com. Great to have your company. This is your one day special. If you have just joined us, then one third of the stock of the one day special has already gone. But if you have just joined us, it does mean we've still got some left. 996 887 is your item number. It's available on two payments of £21.49. Now, this particular set is so versatile. We can do so much with it. We've got a lovely sample here that I'll open up and show you. So at the front there, you've got part of the the die which we then open up you can see you can pop some uh, I always go to call them tea tree lights I don't know why I'm sure there's a reason for it uh, they are tea lights of course uh, and then you've got the decorative parts of the die and you've got the lattice inside as well three yeah look at that somebody is going to be very lucky to receive that um, if I pick up this one if you're making an envelope or an envelope or a box you can then just open that up you can see that flower inside stays nice and safe 
and nice and secure because it's within that box. You can see just closing that. You've got that really nice depth inside to use. You might want to use this as a card. Again, still using the depth that's inside there, which is lovely because you can put your sentiments inside. You can use all kinds of different colours if you want to make it a little steampunk. Open that up. I'm glad it's just a spooky ghost in there. That could be something for Halloween, for example. Imagine if there's something else in there. That would be very scary. Oh, I've, is that... I'm going to just hand that back to John a minute. Is it on the front? Is there no. a thing on the front? No. Is it just a bow? It's just a bow. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> is it? It's not a spider. It's just a bow. Oh, no, there is a No, there spider. is. There yeah. is. Okay, I thanks. thought so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got hot flush. Uh, right. I knew I'd seen one. Um, and then uh, this one here, uh, again, what a lovely design. If you want to make a masculine... Oh, come over all dizzy. Uh, if you want to make a masculine card, for example, this is absolutely perfect. What a lovely idea. And then you can put a sentiment on that side. You can put some tickets in here. Maybe it's for a show. And you can put the time of the show inside there. Some really nice samples. If you're just using the outside, uh, for example, of that set, uh, you can see this will make a really nice wall hanging. Do you know what's nice about this? You've got the depth, you can put the words inside, but it's very, very light. Um, and showing you a lovely card here, because we showed you lots of boxes, you can also use this to make and create a card as well that you can just open up. Some gorgeous examples. So much hard work gone into this, so you can enjoy your one day special. And how much has gone? Oh, approaching a third of the stock has gone already. Two payments of £21 and 49 pence if you want to go for your one day special now if you are going for your one day special we do have other items on the show which means because your one day special is available on a flexi order a flexi buy you can add this in if you want to and this one would be 8.99 extra today and then you'll have the other payment in a month's time this is beautiful it really is i love poppies I think they are an incredible flower. They have such uh, strong um, imagery for you to look at. And, of course, with poppies, you can make them different colours as well. If you study your poppies, it's not just the red poppy that's out there. But what a lovely, gorgeous card this will make. And this one that I have in my hand is including your one-day special. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want to go for the other items on the show as well, you might want to add some foliage to that. Look at the poppies on here with that dark background. Isn't that a effective and then just lifting up this frame if I may that poppy die can be used in a different way to make other flowers as well isn't that beautiful we are approaching a quarter of the stock gone 17 pounds and 98 pence saving five pounds that is your freedom price if you are a freedom member you get that fantastic discount and your PMP is included please go for that it's gorgeous so you've got your die and you've got the stamps to go to make and create those fabulous poppies or flowers. Right, we've also got a little bit of foliage and uh, ferns to go with your poppies or to go with anything uh, that you're making and creating. I mean, these really are pretty. And if I find my lovely set, let me grab this sample because this really does show it off beautifully. So you've got your flowers in here using the poppy flower dye. But also you've got the foliage in the background. Can you see how that adds to that detail, makes it deeper, makes it fuller and makes it richer as well. And you can layer all of those up. If you go for this, you can also use it with the cardstock. If we have the cardstock, of course, uh, still available, you can use any cardstock. But doesn't that look beautiful? Again, using your one day special there, but also using the foliage in the background. It doesn't always have to be in green. It could be colour matched to match your card. I think that is absolutely beautiful and would make a lovely wall decoration or on a stand for example or it could be a very elaborate card for somebody. £19.99 if you do want to go for your leafy um, for your uh, ferns and leafy flourish die sets that's the one. Uh, six dies in total. £19.99 you can of course add that to your one day special and split the cost into two. That would be two payments of £10. And if you'd like to see some more inspiration for your one day special let's take a look at this
Oh, you're really going to enjoy getting this one-day special home because John has thought about everything for you. As a crafter, he's thought about all the different ways of using the one-day special. I think it's fabulous. I love listening to you. Thank you. And on that note, you can watch any of the shows again on Rewind on the website. Right, let's move on to the poppy die and stamp set that we've got available. Yeah, so I wanted to explain this and show this. So we're actually going to finish the card we did earlier. Okay. But I thought we need to add some flowers onto oh, it. Oh, please. Um, but one of the things, so this is again the shell pink. Now, one of the changes that you may see if people have had my flower plates before. Yes. Is normally the stamp comes on a larger A5 set with some sentiments. Right. So that obviously makes it more expensive. Yes. What I've been able to do is to change this slightly so that we can make it better value for people. Okay. So I've actually, you know, I sat down with, with Uncle Peter and Auntie Jane at Crafts 2 and said, what can we do to, you know, just to make it better value? That's what we're always trying to do. Because I think that's what we're all trying to look for yeah, as crafters, sure. is get better value. So you'll find that the stamp is single on its own now, and it just doesn't have an outside line around it. Okay. But it still has these registration marks. What are they for? Well, what I'll do is I'll stamp it, Yes. And then you can see. So what okay. we do is, normally when you get flower stamps, you get individual. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So you get six individual flower stamps that you have to arrange and stamp separately onto the thing. I was going to say, normally we'd cut those out, wouldn't yeah. we, and use them separately? This is all done in one. So we leave that. We leave it in okay. one. And it's designed to be slightly smaller than A6. It's actually an official A6 size, so that it will fit once, twice, three times, four times. Okay on a piece of A4 card, so that you're basically not wasting card. Yes. A number of times I've done that, and if you made it a slight bit bigger, you'd only get it out twice, and you'd yeah. waste loads of card. So this is a piece of A5. Just put it down, and I'm just going to stamp it. I'm using Versafine, and this is sepia. Right. So like a nice sort of crisp stamping ink to do my stamping in. So ink everything. With your stamp press, don't worry about anything in the wrong place. So put it down, and what you want to do is just press it like you're putting a Tupperware lid on. Okay. You're not trying to restart someone's heart, which I say every time I use one of these. I see so many people going, <laughs> no. Literally, you're chasing that bubble around your Tupperware lid. Okay. When we, there we go. So you've got all of the detail that I've drawn. And you've even stamped. inked. And you the ink corners. the corners. Okay. You do that because when you bring the die in. Yes. The die has those corners missing. Oh, for placement. So this is your registration marks. This is something I came up with. Okay. Um, and this was my idea of how to make it easier, because all you do is place it against oh, those that two makes it registration easy. marks. So you don't have to spend hours trying to, A, peer through the die. Yes. To work out where to put it. Mm. And it also means that I can have the pattern all the way to the edge of the die. I don't have to leave an edge so that you can see where to place it. That's brilliant. Traditionally in the past with some flower dies and stamps that match, yep. there is always, the die is slightly bigger and you get that line around it. Well, flowers don't have lines around them. No, they don't. You're the, quite right. The, the lines go all the way to the edge. So all we do is then cut that. So now, that through. the card that John is using is available, well, just, is just available on the show. We've been very, very busy for this. Gorgeous colours, uh, vintage colours. Uh, you get 40 sheets. Each of the colour is wrapped individually as well. So you get the shell pink, the mouse grey, the old blue and the taupe. We are now limited stock. It's only twelve ninety nine for 40 sheets. And they do come wrapped individually, but we are truly, truly limited stock. So, when we bring it out, what we actually get is those cut and stamped perfectly. Your little piece is done. But you also get... I was going to say, what are they? Three little centres. Oh, look! Because why waste the space on the die? Obviously, I couldn't put another flower in there. Yeah. But you paid for that metal, so you might as well have something out. So you can colour those or just shape those for centres, which we're going to do on this one. Perfect. Or you could cut them in black or anything else. Yeah. But of course you can see then, you could use that as a stencil, but you can easily fit another one on. Oh, that is brilliant. So it Genius just makes job. it so much easier. Thank you. So now I'm going to need to get my gloss And I, I love these. Yes, you can use them as uh, stamens, which is what they're um, intended for. But I think they'd look nice on their own. 
just as nice little embellishments to your projects. I, I think they make lovely little, just little pieces stuck yeah, on there. Yeah, like little snowflakes yeah. even. Yeah, they could actually. Yeah. There's so much you want, you should be able to do with yes. these. So I'm going to take the three sizes. And it's almost a case of when you look at that, doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay. Doesn't actually say poppy massively to me. No. It's sort of a bit of a weird alien shape, I said. <laughs> so it was called that for ages in my head. When we put the lines on, it starts to say, it looks 3D already with yes, the poppy. Yes, yeah. So all I'm going to do is just shade the edges. Now I'm using the eyes ink and I'm using the pigment ink. Now we do have these available on the show for you. We'll change the details on the screen so we can give you those if you want them. Uh, we've got two options. So the first bundle we'll show you on the screen. Uh, here we go, we'll have a look at the first. You've got your white, you've got red, you've got ruddle, brown and black. So that's your first set, only 9 99 Then the second set, You've got your yellow, you've got your orange, you've got your hot pink, you've got your purple and light pink. So that's available for you in two sets, $9.99 each. Um, you know, I'd probably go for both, I really would. They're really cute and they're stackable as well. So you can stack these up and John is going to tell us exactly why we would like to go for these. Why pigment ink? Because pigment ink is a slow drying ink. Okay. I've always called it a bit of a pig. So you've got a slow drying ink. Yes. Normally, when you come to shade something, if you're using something like a water-based ink, yes. like a distress ink, when you go down, that's it. It's done. When you're using a dye-based ink, you will get it. You can get it on your fingers, and it won't come off. And again, it's permanent. You actually find your um, pigment inks are a mix of ink and glycerin. So what actually happens is you get a lot longer drying time. So these are a lot drier and a lot wetter. So if I show you when I'm actually using it on the shape, you can see how easily it shades. So just circle around the edge because it's not dry. So if I go like that, yeah. if that was any other ink, that would be there forever. No, because that's not dry. Right. So I can smooth it out. But can you see how 3D that flower looks? Yes, I love that. Some in the middle. And I know it sounds weird to say brown, but the brown goes perfectly mm. with the shell pink. It does. It's just what you need. And when you're using red, you, you need to use the black. Well, it gives you that vintage, vintage look, shabby chic flowers. Yes. Yeah. How many times have you tried to shade around a flower and got blobs and things? But because this is, is wet... Yeah, it keeps moving. It keeps moving. And so you've got so much more time to move it. So I'll just do the third one and just go through. Now, if we've got some flower foam, can we use this dye? We can. Can we? I will try Ooh. and do that with the, the Christmas pack and the autumn pack. I think it's Christmas pack and the spring. I put the two colours together on the show that are perfect with this. Well, if you want to get the Christmas and autumn, uh, 20 sheets of A4 flower foam, £10.99. pence. You're going to have so much fun making and creating those lovely, uh, yeah, realistic flowers for your wreaths, for your um, bouquets. And again, it's so on trend at the moment. Really is. So what I'm going to do this time is your normal shaping flowers, turn them over, roll them. No. Yeah. All I'm doing is I'm using what I call number three. The craft stick, the blossom kit has th three different ball and tools in it. Yes. But six different sizes, and each one is useful for a different thing. So this is number three to me because this is the third largest okay. sort of ball tool. And it all I'm doing is put pressing very hard out. If you think about a poppy, a poppy isn't all sort of. No, it's not. Pulled. It's kind of wrinkled. It is. In a way, and we get that look simply by drawing a line out. You see already how that's starting to turn. If you want to go for the Crafts 2 Blossom Toolkit and Flower Moulding Foam, those are your details on the screen at the moment. It's just £14.99. You get everything you need. You can actually pop this into your Flexi Buy if you're going for the one-day special, turning this into two payments of £7.50. But you can see how John is using this, how easy it is going to be to make and craft those perfect, beautiful flowers time and time again, especially when you're using the dye and the stamp they're gorgeous they really are so lifelike so realistic and something that you will be able to achieve at home especially if you're going for the tool kit as well now we are approaching a third of the stock of the poppy die and stamp kit 
and the card has now sold out. So the card has now sold out and we are very busy for your poppy die and stamp kit. So please do check out your baskets. So here I've used all three together to give me my poppy. Isn't that beautiful? Give me a, a large poppy, but it does look like a blousy poppy. Yeah, it does. It has that real filter and it's just the lines. So I wanted to say, while I'm using the foam, one of the reasons I've got this foam is, normally when I used to shape flowers, I would use a cut-up stamp, yeah. stamping mat. Okay. Um, it isn't dense enough. If, you, if there is a real, this is very, very tough. So when I draw the lines on it, when I do that on my stamping mat, yeah. or the foam that's the EVA foam that's inside my um, press to impress, it marks it. Okay. So I've gone for this foam is a special flower moulding foam that's very, very dense. So that's why I'm pressing on very hard. Because all I have to do for the centres, if I want to use these little ones, is just curl, it's just scribble. All right. That's it. We'll pop a little bit more hot glue in. And we'll just pop a centre in. Oops. Do you know, works every time at home. <laughs> Doesn't... Yeah, oh, there, there you go. go. Pop my little centre in. And what I've done with some of the others, pull those in and take them with the foliage. I'll just pick this one up out of your way and just hold it up to the camera so go. they can see. This That's time I've done it, stamped so and cut them gosh. twice. Isn't that amazing? That's just a, that's just a bit of the uh, the glue there. Um, that is lovely with that stamp with the detail in there. How easy was that to fold up as well to make and create that realistic, beautiful, beautiful poppy? I love that, John. Love that. Let me just grab. I mean, if you keep going, keep making and creating. Look at that. Who made this, John? That's Mrs. Duck. Mrs. I have to Duck. Say thank you, Mrs. Uh, Duck. Mrs. Duck is here today. So, Mrs. Duck, this is beautiful. Love that. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can create the colours to your taste. So, I'm just going to. I've cut what just one strip of the foliage, and I've just shaded that with the brown itself again in the white. I've actually already cut, so I'm going to use my hot glue because it's here and it's quicker. Just stamped a little sentiment using the middle section from the oakum. All right, we'll just put our flowers on. But of course, that's this is the great thing about using the box. I get all this depth in the flowers, and they're not going to get wrecked in the post. All of those. Yep. Wow. Because they go and they simply slide into my box. So just put it in. Always, of course, it's so much easier at home and things. It's are always is easier right at, home. at home. But I can put that into place. Pop those in. Let's pop that flower. Pop you back in, Mr. Big Flower. So we'll get him in the right place and close him. But then you can see, hold that one up. Isn't that beautiful? You've actually got all of that depth, all of those flowers and everything in there. And how easy was that to make and create? I'll just move that out of the way. Sorry. How easy was that to make course, and create? So close that up. You've got the depth. You've Post. made the box. But and then open, open it, up. it It's just that beautiful sort of surprise almost yeah it really is uh, now the poppy die and stamp is available 17 pounds and 98 pence uh, i'm sure many of you are pot popping that popping get it popping. popping the poppy into your basket now because we are approaching a third of the stock gone now of your poppy die and um stamp set so easy to put together and of course you've got that great technique in there as well to help you lay the die on top of the stamps the stamps themselves stays that whole complete set it's brilliant it's magical and we'll be demonstrating that later on as well and throughout tomorrow if we've got any left but let's talk about the one day special brand new today saving seven pounds it's available for your first payment of 21 pounds and 49 pence plus your pmp unless you're a freedom member then your pmp is included and then we'll take the next payment in february hey i can't believe i'm saying feb what's That's the date terrifying. today 14th 
Be on Valentine's Day. Yes. Yeah, it'll be okay. around Valentine's Day. Now, over 40% of the stock has gone. Get this in time for Valentine's Day and make and create those lovely cards and boxes and wall decorations and all your crafting delights using your one-day special. If there's anyone thinking about it, John, what would you say to them? I think it's just one of the most versatile die sets I've used. This sample by Leslie Lakin is beautiful. The graduation. Isn't that I just brilliant. think it's so clever. But the same box, all those things that we make, those little bits, if you want making jewellery or anything, you can put in there. Anything that you make, you can actually get your 3D projects in. Here she's used it as the front of a card, but that's still postable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you, you just know, you keep can, that flat. And I've got to show this one. Oh, please, yes. This is Mrs. Ducks. Mm -hmm. Now, this is for of the box. I have to be quick because a couple of the dies you won't be able to see yet. Oh, oh, okay. You will see them in February, but four of those together. Uh, that's amazing. It really is. Well, thank you so much, John. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. Yep. Please stay where you are because we've got more coming up. We've got the lovely Dave Bradford and Craft Price Drop. Uh, John, I'll see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. You go and put your feet have up, a have a rest, and we'll see you in a moment's time. Chanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art stamp and paper craft show, and we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Sunday the 24th of February. Tickets are available from Hachanda in advance for only £2.50 or alternatively on the door for £3. Order your tickets today from Hachanda.com. Hello, I'm Paula and I'd like to welcome, we're delighted to be working with Hachanda bringing you lots of fabulous products and demonstrations and hopefully lots of inspiration to help you craft along the way. So join us here soon on Hachanda. Marie Curie is the UK's leading charity for people living with any terminal illness. Hachanda have partnered with Marie Curie to bring you a very special watercolour challenge. Marie Curie nurses work day and night in people's homes and in the charity's hospices, providing hands-on care and vital emotional support to help families make the most of the time they have left. It's their information and support services which are a lifeline for people affected by a terminal diagnosis. Being a cause close to our hearts, Achanda wanted to support this wonderful charity. So, on the 25th of January at 12 o'clock, you will have the opportunity to take part in our live watercolour challenge with Matthew Palmer and two very special celebrity guests, broadcaster Penny Smith and comedian Jenny Eclair. Matthew will spend an hour teaching everyone how to paint a daffodil and finding out more from our guests about Marie Curie and its important work. In the run-up to this event, you'll be able to purchase your watercolour kit so you can paint along and Achanda will donate 100% of the profits from the watercolour kits to Marie Curie. Simply go to www.achanda.com forward slash daffodil for more details and purchase your kit. We are so excited to be in partnership with Marie Curie. I hope you can join me, Matthew Palmer and our two very special celebrity guests on the 25th of January at 12 o'clock. is something we do every single day at 7 a.m., 11 o'clock online only at craftpricedrop.com and at 7 p.m. as well. Now, Craft Price Drop is a great, great show. Lots of brilliant brands, not just one or two, but loads of different brands give us products in Craft Price Drop that allow us to plunge the price. Now, we never know how low that price is going to go. I'll tell you about our first item in just a second, but one thing that you're going to have coming up in the show at some point during this hour is my presenter pick. 
Now you're going to get, and I know our John Lockwood is going to be um, hot on the heels of these. He's running out of his red liner tape, needs some massively. Um, well, we don't know exactly where the price is going to go, but we know it's going to go low. That's all I can tell you. Now we've actually got here two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve reels of red liner tape. Now this is the super sticky stuff. This is the stuff you can use for frames. This is the stuff you can use for construction. So this is going to be my star buy. We've got quite a large quantity of them available and it's going to go low, but where it goes is all down to you because if we show you the details on the screen, I'll explain how it works. Okay. First things first, we get the item number on the screen, we get beneath the item number the description. So here it comes. So this is our first item in the show, which is from Spellbinders, okay? Now these are our Spellbinders Nest Abilities pumpkin circles, four nesting circles to make wonderful frames. Now they should be 2304, uh, and the price underneath that should be price is still at the moment 2304. But it's that white box that will start to move and change. That's where that price starts to drop. It can trickle, it can plummet, it it can halve, it can do all sorts of weird, wonderful things. But the thing is, it keeps going down because that's what craft price drops all about. The price is dropping, but where will it go? Now, underneath that price, at some point, Ross, who's producing tonight, at some point will show you how many items we've actually got in the auction. Now, when that quantity gets to zero, that's when the price in the white box is locked. Everyone pays the final locked price, plus the PMP if they're not a Freedom Club member. Let's get a plummet going straight away to show you the sort of thing that we do here. Arrows flash, prices crash. That's what you look for. Here we go. And 19.99, we've taken three pound five pence off. That's what we do. But as soon as you know you want it, that's the key. Get in, put it in your basket, and check out. Website first, hachanda.com. That's the easiest way to put them in your basket, check out, and then that means you're in the auction. But only put it in your basket and check out when the auction's live, like this one is right now. So these are the pumpkin dies. Now, when you look at them, they just look like ordinary nesting dies with maybe a slightly ornate uh, circular pattern to them. But if you get in close, you can see, if I show you these boards, you can see that the actual circles on the doily are little mini pumpkins. How cute are they? Now, they could be tomatoes. If you put red cardstock behind it, it would look like a tomato. Put orange cardstock behind it, it would look like a pumpkin. Or it's just, at the end of the day, a lovely pattern. You could actually thread ribbon through those apertures very easily. So even when pumpkins aren't necessarily appropriate, when it's not Halloween or whatever, you can use them in lots of different ways. They could also be a fruit, I suppose. It could be apple. If you, do, if you make them green, yeah, they could be red, app uh, red apples, green apples. Or they could be tomatoes. They could be really whatever you wanted them to be, depending on the colour that you actually put behind them. £19.37. Now, the whole idea behind these are that they will create lovely frames or they'll mat and layer into each other beautifully because they go down in equal size gradients, down to the smallest one in the centre. £19.21. Let's get that price going even lower. We're looking at 2304 for four dies from Spellbinders normally. This is craft price drop, so watch that price go. We're nearly half price. We're about 40 to 45% off the price. 12.96, less than 13 pounds. And remember, if you're a Freedom Club member, that's a delivered price. No 4.95 for P and P for you if you are in the Freedom Club. And we have 18 sets of these dies at the moment. 18, hopefully enough for you. But remember, now's the key. If you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'd like those, I'll get them in a minute or two. I'll just go and put the kettle on, come back later. That's when you miss out because you've got to have them in your basket and checked out. Now, these have not been on air before. These are brand new to us today at Craft Price Drop. The pumpkin nesting circles, which could be tomatoes. They could be oranges. They could be, um, obviously pumpkins, yes. Uh, they could be really whatever you wanted them to be. Apples, tomatoes, whatever. £9.87, you've got £14 off the price. Nearly £14 off just by tuning in tonight and seeing craft price drop. Four left. Oh no, 15 left, sorry. Four dies in there. 15 left at £9.87. If I turn them around for you so you can see them, they're really good quality as all Spellbinders dies are. They nest into each other beautifully well. If you want to put ribbon through them, if you're not thinking, well, you know, pumpkins aren't really appropriate for what I'm thinking, but I need something to slide some satin ribbon through or something like that. Perfect for that, not a problem. And they're brand new to Power Price Drop today. 11 chances to get into this auction right here, right now from Spellbinders. 
If you want to do it on the phone, of course you can do that, not a problem. 01733 797 100 will get you through to our class price drop operators above my head. Just above the studio, they'll take your call and make sure you're in the auction. But it's when you do that, you've got to hope you haven't got a queue on the phones. If there is a queue on the phones, that's when you can sometimes miss out if you're not answered in time. Ten left. Nine pounds for four Spellbinders dies. Just think of them as beautiful round dies, the shape of which is just a, it's just a circular aperture. That's what it looks like from that distance away. But when you get in close, you can see it is a fruit of some kind. Pumpkin, yeah. Apple, possibly. Tomato, possibly. Oranges, possibly. Nine pound. We surely can't go much lower than this. Nine pounds, 14 pounds and four pence off the price with five chances to get into this auction. Every time someone checks out, remember, that takes the availability down by one. When that availability reaches zero, the auction is closed. The price is locked. Everybody pays the final low price on their credit or their debit card. Two remaining. We're moving on in a second. Who's going to get the last one? Give you a name check if it's you. Are you taking it to zero? Are you checking out right now? Nine pounds? For one lucky person, one remaining. Lorraine, it's gone to you. Congratulations. Price lock. Thank you, Lorraine. You closed the auction for everybody. Everybody confirmed pays the final low price. You're not paying what you should be. You're paying that low, low price of just nine pounds. OK, now, something that everybody will want. Now, obviously, not everybody's into pumpkins. We appreciate that. But everybody needs cardstock. Everybody loves the idea of vellum as well, coloured vellum at that, too. So this is our assorted card and vellum collection. 60 sheets of A4, 240 GSM linen cards, and 20 sheets of assorted vellum as well. Now the vellums, as you can probably see here, are square. I don't know if we've got a size for these or not. Let's see if we can find. It's got to be about eight, eight by eight or ten by ten, something like that. It doesn't say. Have we got a ruler, Ben? Around? Sorry. Yeah. Let's see if I can measure them for you. Uh, but you can cut them down really to whatever size you wish. But this is. Gorgeous quality vellum. It has a translucency to it, but it's quite unusual to see coloured vellum like this. You've got the red, you've got the pink, you've got the lime green, you've then got the blush pink, and you've then got your more kind of traditional creamy colour as well. Ben to the rescue. Cheers, Ben. There we go. Look, you've got the ruler for us. Let's have a little measure. In inches, we are looking at... OK, nine inches square. Nine by nine, and in centimetres, at 23 centimetres square. Cheers, Ben. So that's the size of them. You get 20 sheets of the vellum, and you then get 60 sheets of the linen cardstock. Now, this is, again, a mixture of pink and blue, which will kind of coordinate very nicely with the vellums as well. Now, this should be in its starting life at a value of £29.99. That's what anyone who's retailing this would charge you. That's what you should be paying, £29.99. For 60 sheets of April cardstock, 20 sheets of quality assorted vellum. Oh, no, the arrows flash. Watch that price go. Here we go. Watch the arrows and watch that white box. That bulging white box there is telling you you're only paying £18.64p. That is a saving of £11 off the price, nearly 40% off the price this evening. And it's gorgeous quality as well. The cardstock is lovely quality. It is the same colour on the reverse as it is uh, on the uh, on the on the back. Uh, you've also got we've got them around the wrong way actually to show you. But if I just tilt them that way, there we go. Look, look at that. You can see hopefully the texture, which is a subtle linen texture. Plain on the back, linen texture on the front. But you're going to get 30 sheets of the blue. You're going to get 30 sheets of the pink, and they're 240 GSM. So possibly you could make boxes out of these, I would think so, not a problem. But certainly as card blanks, I reckon you could easily get a good quality card blank out of this. If I just score one of these in half, or fold it in half, so the linen side is on show. Just to prove that you can make a quality card blank out of this if you wanted to. Yeah, not a problem. Strong enough and stiff enough to stand up when it's folded, so there we go. $29.99, oh, no, not here. At Craft Price Drop, we plummet those prices. We're taking that down now to £14 and two pence, better than half price. Half price would be what? 15 quid, wouldn't it? So we're a pound better than half price. For something you'll use again and again. Maybe you've got baby cards to make. Uh, it's a boy, it's a girl, boy, pink, perfect. Problem solved for that. Maybe you're gonna use your die cuts with it as well. Maybe uh, die cut some prams or some baby's dummies, that sort of thing out of this card stock. And then we've of course got the vellum there as well, which is lovely to have. That to me screams Valentine's. It really does. Valentine's red, a month today, Valentine's Day. There's that lovely bright pink. 
Where's the year going already? We're two weeks in. What's going on? Uh, the green, the fantastic baby pink, and then you've got, of course, the classic cream vellum there as well. Nine by nine inches and A4 for the cardstock. And we're down to below half price on something that everyone will use. How low can we go? How much can we take off of this, I wonder? Put it in now. Put it in your basket now. Check out now. That confirms you will pay the final low price wherever that ends up. At the moment, it's £12.07. I don't think you'll be paying that because we've still got 11 sets of this cardstock and vellum left. So the chances are the price will go down a bit more. Will it plummet again or will it just triple a few more pence? I don't know. If it stays where it is, it's a great deal. 10.07. With 10 sets of the cardstock and vellum in stock for you to enjoy right now. We'll get them to your door in the next few days. Maybe you've looked into your card stash recently and thought, I'm, I'm kind of lacking in vellum. I haven't got much parchment. Um, I haven't got much cardstock in pink and blue. Well, here's your chance. Stock up right now. Maybe you've got lots of bold, bright colours, but the pastel shades, maybe you haven't got as much of. But if you are making or uh, making cards with a baby thing, these are perfect colour combinations, aren't they? £12.04 with seven sets left. We'll deliver it without postage. Remember, if you're a Freedom Club member, join Freedom if you want to, to avoid paying P&P. Freedom Club is treble eight, treble eight if you're in the UK. Six pounds 97 is the price if you're not. If you're in Europe and you want to join Freedom, it's 14 euros 97. If you're in America and you'd like Freedom membership, it's $19.99. And that takes care of your postage and shipping and handling as well. These are some of the people that are in. Uh, Patricia. Joan in Mould, she's a Freedom member, not everyone is. Uh, hello to Susan in Stanmore, hi Susan, you're back. Perlene in London, you're in and you're a Freedom member as well. Gillian in Redcar, you're in for this. It's just a great bulk standard must have add to your crafty stash, isn't it? And when it's at a brilliant price like this, saving you 17 pounds and you're only spending 12, we've got two left now. At 12 pounds and two pence, is that gonna be the final price? I'll give it a little tickle, see if I can take any more of it. A penny. A tickle? A penny for a tickle? Oh, come on. It's got to be worth more than that. Another penny. I've lost my touch tonight. Sorry, I tried. OK, a flat £12. Is that the final price? One left then. £12 save you, saves you £18, doesn't it? Good luck. I hope you get the last one. And you got the last one. Price lock. Congratulations, Anne, and everybody else in that auction. That was a popular one. Um, all those wonderful vellum sheets and cardstock sheets on the way to you. Now, of course, uh, John is here with the one-day special a little bit later on. What we've got now for you, though, if you love your stamps and you love creative expressions, you're going to be in your element with these stamps that are here today. These are fantastic. They really, really are. Um, now, you've got all three sets. They should be... £36, £12 a set. Now, these are designed by Creative Expressions' lovely Lisa Horton. We love Lisa. Now, what have we got? Let's have a little look in close-up at these. We've got the Bloom to start off with. Love these. Quite retro, quite... Well, I say retro, more kind of swinging 60s, I'd say. Flower power. Dotty about you. Bloom while you're planted. <laughs> Why not? Um, you've got the leaves there as well. You can have a lot of fun with colour with those, definitely. Then in the middle, everybody loves a butterfly. Let's see what you've got the little verses there as well. You make me happy, smile, laugh, wish you all the things beautiful, believe. So you can kind of make your own verses and phrases with these. You've even got a little splat down the bottom there. They are real fun to play with, the little splats. A little bit rebellious, but they're good fun. Uh, and you've got all these different butterflies, some that are kind of shot from the side, some that are shot from above, some in flight. You've got dragonflies on there as well, but there's loads and loads and loads of stamps in there. Again, designed by Lisa Horton. And then the other set, just down here, with, again, Valentine's on our minds, maybe, in the next few weeks. A lot of love going on here. Now, these are hearts with texture. Hearts that are designed to look a little bit grungy, look, look a little bit distressed. All you need is art. All you need is heart. You're in my heart. From the heart always, heart you. They're cool, though, aren't they? And you've got um, now all these different textures that you've got there, whether you're embossing with them, inking them, or whatever you're doing with them, it's entirely up to you. Whether you're stamping them and cutting them out, making them into little heart banners. Maybe you can have, I don't know, like a little heart bunting strip above the dining table when you have a romantic dinner in a month's time. Hearts are just appropriate all year round as well, aren't they? But they kind of come into their own in about four weeks. £24, we've knocked £12 off the price, a third off. So we've literally knocked off the cost of one of these sets. 
One of them is now a bonus. You're not paying for one of them. Which one's going to be your freebie? Which one would you like to be your freebie? You're getting three sets, you're only paying for two at the moment. But we've not put the quantity on the screen, so there's every likelihood this is going to go down lower. I don't know how. I never look at quantities. I never look at, uh, well, I don't know where the price is going to go. So it depends on when we get to zero quantity. So it's all a little bit on a wing and a prayer when it comes to uh, craft price drop, which is what I think people like. And say hey, hello, by the way, if you're watching us on Facebook or interacting on Facebook this evening. Heather's there, Sarah's there, Cheryl's there, Nancy's there. Sorry we didn't have one this morning, by the way. Little technical glitch, but we'll be back as normal live tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Leone will be here. Yeah, we will be here live at 7 a.m. Leone will be here with Craft Price Drop at 7. Sometimes what we do about double hand as she kind of makes an entrance five minutes after, but not often. <laughs> Bless her. She'll be here tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. 7 a.m., 7 p.m. every day, and of course online at 11 o'clock craftpricedrop.com. Right, we're even going below the cost of two sets of these. How much lower can we go? £36 they're worth, they're now under 20 quid. £19.62, you're paying less than what you should do for two sets. You're paying £12 for one and £7.62 for the other, and the other one's free. How about that? And there's no cutting with these at all, no trimming. Let me just turn that one that you're looking at round so you can see. There we are. They're really wonderfully produced. And Lisa's got a great eye for design, she really has. I mean, this one here, you could do that dandelion clocks for those, couldn't you? That style. Um, it could also be a pinwheel if you wanted it to be. Bloom where you're planted. Have you ever been planted? I haven't been planted. I don't think I have. Would I bloom if I did? Probably not. Probably rot. <laughs> £36 they should be. £17.99. Under half price so that works out now to six pounds a set and there should be 12. bloom where you're planted got me thinking that bloom where you're happy yeah you can mix them up a bit dotty about you and you can mix the, the fonts and all of that that's quite a cool thing to do these days lots of people mix the letters and fonts and it looks really funky all you need is answers on a postcard. Da, 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 da. Thirty-six pounds. We're going down lower. You were singing, weren't you? Yeah. Okay. The arrows stop flashing. The prices have crashed. Fourteen oh three. Twelve pounds nearly off the price. No, actually, twenty-two pounds off the price. Do the math, Bradford. Twenty-two pounds off the price. You want these, remember, I know lots of you are regulars, and I know I'm preaching to the converted, but if you are new, you're thinking, well, what do I do? I want them, but how do I get them? You can phone us, better still though, hachanda.com, on your smartphone, on your tablet, on your PC, on your laptop. Pop them in your basket as if you're buying them normally at the full price. You'll only be charged, provided you check out the final low price. But only do it when the auction's live. Don't do the next one until we get to it, because otherwise you'll be charged the high price. 14 quid. Around 14 pounds, the quantity's on the screen. We've only got 14 sets left. Lisa Horton stamps. Get them while they're going at this price. They prove popular at full price. And they're worth every penny of the full price any day of the week. 13 left. 12 left. 11. Going fast. And look at the detail in these butterflies. I mean, they really are quite phenomenal. And I always think butterflies are really good value because you can. there's no rules with butterflies. You can't just put one colour there and one colour there. You can put a rainbow of colours wherever you like and it's always going to look good. But the detail in them, lovely. And you've got little kind of dotty textures as well. So a little bit grungy maybe. And that's just a little um, distressed splat. You've got another little splat down the bottom there. And they just make wonderful backgrounds. Just make everything a little bit more interesting. Actually, the butterflies have got splats in them. I just realised that. I didn't see that before. Yeah. Lovely. So it's a little bit more of a kind of a grungy butterfly set. You may be happy with the butterflies. Bloom where you're planted. Dotty about you. Love always. £13.92. Now, these are some of the bidders that are in. Here comes Freedom Member Dawn in Biggleswaite. Hello, Dawn. Evening. Alison in Walsall. You're in as well. Freedom Member Dawn in Biggleswaite. Uh, Patricia in Retford. You're in as well. I love reading out all of these names because a lot of the places, uh, a lot of them I've heard of, but some of them I haven't. Chester, yes or no. Hello, Margaret. Gillian in Redcar. Never been there, but I've heard of it. Um, 
Anonymous in Wakefield. Now that could mean that you're not a Freedom member. And if that's the case, it could mean that you'll have to pay the 4.95 PMP, which you may not mind, but if you're a Freedom member, you don't pay it. One left at 13.88. Is that going to be the final price, or can I tickle another penny? No, Tom. Paula, you've got the last one. Price lock. You got in there just in the nick of time, Paula, and you closed the auction for everybody else, meaning that everybody pays the final low price of £13.88. Right, now, card kits. We've not had card kits in the show until now. This is lovely. If you, if you, um, you look at a blank sheet and you think, I've got to make a card for someone, uh, I don't really know what to do, I want to do something different that's going to make them go, wow, that's unusual, but where do I start? I'm not into origami, I'm no good at construction and paper engineering, I've got a clue about all that stuff. That's where Ready come in. Ready Creative are brilliant because what they're giving you is a complete card kit. Enough here to make 12 cards. So it shows you on the packaging exactly what those cards can look like, but then, if you turn it around to the back, it shows you how they work because these are no ordinary cards. These are what they call twist and fold cards, and they've got lots and lots of printed elements to them. So you've got things like flowers, you've got wine glasses, uh, gents' shoes for masculine cards, you've got babies, blue and pink for little boys and girls, you've got um, your flowers there as well, your tulips and your lilies, that sort of thing. So all of these elements are there for you to cut out. Uh, all of them have been printed exactly the right size they need to be. And here you've got backing papers as well, which means you can decorate the card blanks with them too, in all these different colours. But these are the mechanisms. Now you look at them and you think, well, mm, what do they do then? Well, they've all been cut, they've all been scored, where you need to bend them and that sort of thing and crease them. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. You've got the central part of the pop-up that has also been scored in the centre as well. So all of the elements have been pre-cut, pre-scored for you. All you've got to do is follow the instructions in the kit to put them together, to glue them together. What happens then is, when you've done that, this is one of your cards. So it's rather lovely. You've got an image of a little baby on the front that you've cut out from the sheets. You've got the backing papers as well, which you've cut out. But look, when you put them together, what actually happens? How cool is that? That's a twist and fold card. Now, if you and I sat down with strips of A4 card and had to cut it and score it and mark it and fold it so that it worked like this, I would never in a million years have a clue where to begin. It would be a disaster. But Ready have done all the hard work for you. They show you in the instructions exactly how to put these elements together, where to join them together, and you've got enough, remember, here to make 12 cards in total. So all of this has been done. And you even get the envelopes to put your card in as well. You can make 12 of these fold and twist cards for just $47.99. That is the price you should be paying. So they're round about four quid each, I think. Yeah, about four pounds, $3.99 per card. This is Craft Price Drop, not $3.99. How about less than two pounds a card? $1.99 a card for cards that you probably sell for double that, if not more. And the themes that you've got, by the way, as well, have a little look at these themes, because uh, that's an important thing. Who do you make cards for? You've got romantic flowers, you've got little babies, you've got the glass of wine, you've got, going below, you've got romantic hearts, maybe for weddings and civil partnerships, that sort of thing. You've got uh, romantic ladies of a certain era, uh, you've got uh, a little goblet down there, that could be a sympathy card, or maybe not a sympathy card, but maybe uh, communion, that sort of thing. Uh, you've got flowers, all of that, and then of course, it shows you on the back, what the cards actually become when they open out. And no one will expect that to happen. But all the instructions, all the step-by-step -step instructions are included on the sheet. So you know exactly what to score, mountains, valleys, which one goes in, which one goes up, that sort of thing, and how to actually stick the whole thing together so that when you open up the card, the whole thing just literally twists and opens. Okay, let's do another plummet. You can see the arrows, you can hear the music. Let's get it going. Let's watch that price go right down to £12. From 48 to 12 That's 75% off the price. Three quarters off, just like that, making them a pound a card. And all the engineering that's gone into this, you even get your little round adhesive pads as well. Are they, are they like touch fasting pads? I think they are, you know. Yeah, they are touch fasting pads. So they're like um, little Velcro dots. Yeah. Oh, cool. They're in there. Fabulous. 
so it helps to keep the car together. So obviously, if you wanted it to be nice and flat and neat for posting, obviously it's got a little bit of a spring to it because it's a twist and fold car, just put the, the dots, the touch fastening dots, one at one end, one at the other, and it'll keep it nice and flat for you to go in the envelope. Envelope's included too. All the papers are included. All these elements that you can cut out and ready to produce some amazing quality images, amazing artwork all at exactly the right size. All you need are scissors, a trimmer, a guillotine, or a craft knife. It's up to you what you use. We've already taken three quarters off the price. We're going down even lower. How on earth can we do this? 87 pence a card we're at now. Crazy, crazy, crazy times. Very much so. 10.50 down from nearly 48 pounds. If that is not too good to miss, I don't know what is. If you've never used Ready before, they are a, um, I think they're German, or are they Norwegian, um, Dutch? I think they're German, actually. Let me just double check. Mm. Yes, Germany. They are German. They're a German company, and they specialise in kits like this. They've got wonderfully skilled engineers that do all the measurements and all the, the kind of origami and the paper folding and the card creasing and all of that so that you can put it all together, take the glory, enjoy and have the fun of making the cards as well. But if you want to sell, that's absolutely fine. You can make to sell if you wish. £47.99. Flashing arrows means happy bunters. You're happy, you're watching and you're happy. I'm sure you're getting them for under a £10 note. Loads of you coming in for this. These are some of the people that are in. You can buy multiples. You can have more if you want. If you want two, three, four sets at this sort of price, thinking these are just too good to miss out on. All of these people are in, and more besides as well. We've only got a few of you putting your names on the bottom of the screen there. Well, you don't do that. We do that. Uh, 01733 797 100. We'll get you through to the operator if you want to put your name into the hat so that you pay the final price as well. The operator can do that for you now if you're quick. They'll answer your call quickly if you're quick because there's 17 sets left. If you buy two now, you'll take it to 15. Someone's just taken one, down to 16. £9.76 is all we're asking for something that should be nearly £50. Just in fold cards for special occasions. And I do love the fact that you can decorate them however you want. Obviously, you've got the elements here which lend themselves to the cardstock itself. It's all been printed to match size-wise with the cardstock. But there's nothing stopping you using your own cardstock at home and your own papers at home if you want to. If you want to use some of Barbara Gray's fantastic designer papers or designer parchments, you can decorate these cards with those as well. You don't have to stick to what's in the kit. You've got all the mechanisms, you've got all the workings. So if you wanted to do like a, a, a clarity version of this with miniature parchment that just popped out, how brilliant would that be? You don't have to keep it with the ready. You can keep it, keep the mechanisms and use your own ideas if you want to. Nine left. Nine left. Now, eight left at £9.63, under £10, and no postage if you're a Freedom Club member. Delivered for that price, and it's still going down. How on earth can we do this? My star buy is coming up. My presenter pick is coming up in a second. For those of you that want the sticky stuff, John Lockwood is at the ready. He's got his finger poised on the phone or on his tablet or his iPad or whatever he's got. Or, yeah, he's going to want the adhesive that's coming up in a minute. He knows the price is going to go low. Where is it going to go exactly? I'll show you in a minute. Three left, two left now. £9.61 on craft price drop tonight. Are you going to be lucky to get the last one of these at less than £10? No guarantee you can get them back again. Who's going to get the last one? Who's it going to be? Making 12 cards for less than a pound each. Geraldine, you've closed the auction. You've got it. Price lock. Confirmed. Everyone pays the final low price. You've got Geraldine to thank you for closing the auction at £9.61. Has anyone paid postage tonight, Ross? A few. Peter from Cardiff, I think you've paid postage on one of the auctions earlier on. Uh, not the end of the world, I know, but at 4.95, you might think, well, you know what? For just a couple of pounds more, I can be a Freedom member. I'm going to have to even think about postage for a whole month from now. So from now until Valentine's Day, no matter what you buy from us on Craft Price Drop or on her Chanda shows, you won't pay a penny P and P. That I like. Just 6.97, treble eight, treble eight is your item number. Look, ta-da! Today's choice. Now, this was a no-brainer for me. I had to put this as my choice because I was looking uh, at everything that was on the show and there's lots of lovely things in the show, but when it comes to putting things together, sticking things, uh, building things, every crafter I know, without exception, relies on the red double-sided tape. 
the high performance, what, what do we call it? We often call it the red super liner tape, don't we? Or red liner super tape, whatever. Basically, it's the red sticky tape that is so incredibly strong. It can hold frames together. If you're liking the idea of the one day special, um, that's coming up with John a bit later on in the next hour. More on that later on, though. But if you like the idea of um, matting and layering, if you like the idea of construction, box making, anything like that, you need to have double-sided tape that is going to be really durable and really strong. Now, you've actually got 12 mil, 5 meters, and 9 mil, 5 meters. So you've actually got a total of 10 meters. Is that right? No, hang on, 12. So hang on, they're five meters each, so there's 12 of them, so that's 60 meters of adhesive tape. That's what you've got. 60 meters of adhesive tape, that's a lot, that's 60 of them. That's a lot. So you've got your six mil, oh hang on, 12 mil and nine mil, sorry, 12 mil and nine mil. Now that relates to the width. So there's your 12 mil, there is your nine mil. You're getting 12 reels in total. 60 meters of the red liner super sticky stuff that we always talk about it's now a star on craft price drop tonight now we haven't even moved the price yet but there are an awful lot of you coming in and putting them in your basket before we even do a plummet before we even move that price there's loads of you putting them in your basket right now now's the time to take advantage of something like this here we go 1990 10 pounds off just like that if it stayed there you'd be happy because you don't find the red super sticky tape very often reduced it's one of those must have essentials that every crafter needs in their tote bag, every crafter needs on their craft table. And it's, remember, red, so it stands out. Um, one word of warning, obviously, you hear lots of craft demonstrators talk about this. The red, when you peel it back, is very static. So it does tend to stick to your skin a little bit, but not in a sticky way, just in a static way. So it's going to give you such an incredible addition, it really, really is. When you want something to be made that's going to last, and it's not going to just kind of ping off and open up when you least expect it, that's what this tape is all about. You can charge, and I don't know, I've never bought this tape singularly, but I can imagine it will be three quid, two ninety nine, two fifty minimum, I would have thought, for a roll of that. At the moment, it is £1.65 a roll, because you're getting 12 rolls for 19 90 But we're not stopping there. That's our first plummet, £10 off. This is Dave's choice. You know it has to be a really amazing deal. I don't know exactly where it's going to go. I know roughly which direction, well, I know which direction it's going, that way. Um, but I don't know exactly where the price will end up, because it all depends on when you take it to zero availability. And we've got quite a quantity of this available too. Stack it up in your craft room. Put it on a doweling maybe if you want to, just where you're sat, put it on a doweling rod so you can just easily access it. You get six of the 9mm, six of the 12mm and it's just the best stuff. This is what John wanted to go off and order and I'm sure he's right now putting it in his basket and checking out at our website at chanda.com or he's maybe having a chat to the call centre, I don't know, but either way he's wanting this. He and you and everyone will pay the final low price, wherever that may be. Will it go below £15? I don't know. It's great at the moment at £16.75. So it's not quite half price. £1.39 pence a roll for the red liner super sticky, five metres on each reel. That's a lot of high tack tape. It is strong. It's great quality. Every crafter I know uses it, whether it's Jody Tonic, whether it's Dawn Bibby, whether it's John, whether it's Lisa Horton, whatever or whoever they are, male, female, everyone needs this tape at some point during their crafting day. Okay, the quantity, I'm pleased to tell you, because we've got lots of people with them already in their basket, is quite a good, good quantity. We've got 40, 39 now. But the rate that, that this is being put into your basket is pretty scary. It's going down fast. Lots of you putting more than one in. You can have two, three, four, five if you want. It's entirely up to you. Have as many as you like. If you always run out of this stuff in the middle of an important project, there's nothing worse. Buy in bulk, save in bulk. Arrows flash. Where's that price crashing to? $14.99, nearly half price, far a few pence. You're looking at half price on this. John will be happy. You, I'm sure, equally will be happy. Think about it. What would you normally pay in a craft store near you for that amount of the super sticky tape? 
12 reels for 14.99. That's about one pound 20 something. 124. 124 a roll. Okay, the nine mil will be slightly less than the 12 mil in cost, but let's just split it even. It's easier. Busy phones. Wow, there are loads of you. I've just been told how many of you are on the phones. This is just a snapshot of some of them. Deborah in Reading. Hello, Deborah. Cynthia in Birmingham. Sandra in Newton Abbott. Uh, Lynn in Great Yarmouth. You're all Freedom members as well. No one is paying postage at the moment. If you're on the screen and you're a Freedom member, you're not paying PMP of 4 95 Why should you? You don't have to. Freedom members never pay postage. It's all included in the membership. Uh, Peter in Cardiff. Hello, Peter. Christopher in Watch It. Uh, some, uh, some guys watching this evening as well. Annie in Livingston St. Anne's. Hi, Annie. Uh, Margaret in Hailsham. You're in as well. Brenda in Upminster. All wanting the red sticky stuff. Okay, we are dropping it to its lowest ever price. Ross, my producer, does that a lot. Okay. 1440 below half price. It's never been this low before. This is why it's my choice, Dave's choice. That's why they've lowered it to that price because it's a special pick for the hour. It has to stand out as being just exceptional, an opportunity that's too good to miss out on. I would be tempted, rather than stacking them on top of each other, because sometimes they do have a tendency to stick together, I'd just put them on a dowling or something like that, or maybe an old an old kitchen roll holder or something like that so that they can just easily just swing from side to side and then they'll just be there ready for you to peel off as much as you like or as little as you need. You'd be absolutely very surprised actually how little you need of this stuff. It is super duper strong. 14 left. Dozens and dozens and dozens of you, more than that actually, have already got these in your basket and you've checked out. That's the secret. If it's now down to single figures, you need to put it in your basket and check out. You will not be debited with your debit card or credit card until the stock is, until the price is, is frozen. And then you'll be charged the final low price, as everyone will be. No one will be paying more than 14.40 at the moment. Everyone will pay that final low price. And those who aren't Freedom members will pay the PMP of 4.95. Three left. Two remaining. We add loads of those. Janet, you were the last one in, and you closed that auction. Price lock. Wow. Over 80 of you came in for that. Not surprisingly, uh, uh, that's the biggest reaction we've had of the night. Um, and quite rightly, too, actually. When you see, you know, all of that super liner, red liner. What do they call it? Super, is it super liner, red sticky tape? I can't remember what they call it now. Red liner, super sticky tape, I think. That's it. Red liner, super sticky tape. Right. Most popular auction of the night so far, I do believe. Right. Let's have a little look at our next one. Take a little look at this is from Perfect Occasions. Now they bring us fabrics quite often, and we've got over a meter square actually. It's a meter by a meter, well, 112 centimeters, just over a meter by a meter. And you've got three of them, 100% cotton. You've got uh, a price of, at the moment, £21. Now, whenever I see fabric, my mind goes into kind of overdrive. What can I make or what would I make with these? Would it be pinnies? Would it be waistcoats? Would it be cushion covers? Would it be table mats? All the above, I think, in actual fact. These dotty ones, they make fantastic funky placemats on a dining table or a kitchen table, wouldn't it? If you've got modern furniture, that would be really quite striking. Maybe a breakfast bar or something like that. But let me just show you how big this is, because they're all the same size. If I open this up, there we go, look. That's a lot of fabric. Let me do it that way. There we go, look. That's 112 width by a meter in length. That's a lot. That's a lot of placemats. That's a lot of, um, maybe it's things to wear. Maybe you're making them into scarves. Maybe you're making them into little pinnies for the kitchen. Uh, do all sorts with them. Love the colors. That turquoise and the pink, that's a great combination like that. And then the same color combination is followed on here in this one. So rather than being dots like that, you've actually got them as little flowers that look like dots from a distance. But when you get close, you can see they're scalloped petals. And they're in the pink and the blue. So that all works together very nicely. Thank you very much. What about patchwork quilts or a throw to keep your legs warm on these cold winter evenings? That would be funky or actually perfect for things for spring. Lovely spring colours. So maybe you've got some garden furniture. Maybe the, the seat pads on the garden furniture have looked a bit tired for a while or you want some cushions for the outside furniture that you're about to order in the sale. It could be for a, yeah, it could be for a young baby's room. It could be for a kid's room because it's bright, it's funky, it's cheerful.
counter cushions on the bed. Whatever you want to do with them, it's entirely up to you. But you're going to get three one meters by 112 width. At the moment, they are seven pounds per piece of cotton. 21. Now, loads of you are in already. Now, remember, the thing with craft, craft price drop is you know it is not going to stay there. You know that that price is going to plummet at some point in there. Now, whether it's going to go down by two pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, we never know. It's all down to Ross, our producer. He's got an idea where it's going to go, but where it ends is all down to you. He cannot control how quickly you put things in your basket and check out. That's down to you. So if you put 19 in your basket now, because you've got a big project, massive quilts, then you've taken it to zero, and that's it, auction over at 12.47. But you're more than likely going to want one or maybe two of these. So maybe another minute or two we'll have before it gets to zero. £4.15 per piece of fabric, per piece of cotton. £12.47. So you're looking at a saving at the moment of about eight fifty off the price, I think. My last is right. 15 left. Eight fifty off. Let's take it even lower. OK, 14 remaining. That price, ignore it. It's not going to be anywhere near that, I don't think. We're taking it even lower, below £11. 11, 10 99 And we've got 11 of these left. They're lovely colours. You've got the dots in the blue and the pink, and you've got the same blue and pink, but in the flowers. Almost like smiling faces. Really cheerful, really bright, and they all work together very well. We only show you colours that work together. Perfect occasions only select colours that work together. Otherwise, what's the point in showing them to you? Going very fast now. Chanda.com to get in before we go to zero. That's the easiest and quickest way. Pop it in your basket, check out. That gets you in the auction. Every time that's happening, the number, the ticker, is going down by one. It must be about low or low. The dicky ticker. Remember that? No. One left. £10.99. Kaz, you got the last one. You've saved yourself a tenner. Price lock. And Kaz, you've actually saved everybody else a tenner as well because you're going to get all three of those metres for just £10.99. Now, this is not the most exciting auction in the world, I'll be honest and fair, um, but it's something, again, that I'm sure you're going to want, that you're sure you're going to love having. Um, this is our linen finish, 240 GSM, 125 sheets of card. £37.99 should be the price. Now, this is the hardest thing for our cameras to shoot, but I'll do my best, and so will, uh, so will our cameras. There we go, look. There we go. Emily's got it. She's our director tonight. There you go, look. So this has got like a linen texture to it, which you can feel, and you can actually see quite easily when you're looking at it with your own eyes. But in a bright studio environment, sometimes the white looks a little bit kind of, whoa. So this is great. I'll show you. Actually, I think it's probably Leonie that's done this. If you have a little look here, you can see we put a little bit of ink onto the cardstock, and that kind of shows up the texture really lovely. The back is plain, but the front looks as if it's actually got a stretched linen over the top of it, and it feels like that as well. You're going to get 125 sheets of this cardstock, 240 GSM, so again, this could be a card blank if you wanted it to be. Try to use a scoring tool if you can, because otherwise you don't get a very crisp edge. But actually, having said that, that's not a bad edge at all, just using my thumbnail. But there we are, look, there it is scored into half to make a car blank, and that stands up on its own. So this could be wedding stationery. You could die cut with it as well, that would be lovely. Wanted to die cut apertures or images out of it. £37.99 is the starting price. This is craft price drop, so that's not the price you're expected to pay. Don't forget, of course, it always amazes me with, with car stock like this. Obviously, it weighs a lot because it's, you know, thick quality card, we will deliver it without a penny postage being charged if you're a Freedom Club member. Think about that. Now, this price now was the last price that this was sold at. It's the lowest price it's ever been. $37.99 went to $17.99. Everybody that had this last time bought it and saved 20 quid. Happy days. You've saved more than half price. But we're taking it lower. We do this sometimes. So this means it's the lowest price this has ever, ever been. £14.99, will it go any lower? We've still got 32 sets of this cardstock. 
So there's lots of opportunities for you to get in. This is, yeah, one of those things you don't have to really think about because everyone needs cardstock if they're a crafter. And if you're looking for a quality cardstock, if you go to stationers and they say, well, you want cards or invitations printed on this or on this or on this, this, rest assured, would be one of the more expensive options if you wanted to have that linen background. That's something that's regarded as being kind of top drawer, extra luxury, would command a high price. A bit like when you see satin card and pearlescent card as well. It always attracts a higher price, especially when it comes to stationery. You can print on this yourself if you want to and make your own invitations, but without that extra price hike that stations would charge for luxury card. You're getting it at a massively reduced price. It's the lowest price it's ever been, remember? It was... $17.99, the lowest price. It's now $13.25. We've beaten that price by £4 and about 70p. 27 left. On this Monday evening, on craft price drop on Achanda. 125 sheets. You don't have to think about using one or two sheets. Or if you muck a sheet up, it's not the end of the world. You've still got another 124 to use. So it's not as if it's massively expensive. It's very, very affordable. How much is it a sheet at the moment, uh, Ross? It's just over 10p a sheet. It's about 12p, isn't it? Yeah, about 11, 12p a sheet. That's pretty good for linen cardstock. Just under 11p a sheet, yeah. 22 sets left. You can buy multiples if you want to have two sets. That's fine. That will be 20, uh, 26.50 if it stays at 13.25. You can see that texture now really well, can't you? There it is. Smooth on the back, wonderfully linen textured on the front. We've only got 10 minutes on the show left as well for Craft Price Drop. Where's it gone? Go so quick. We'll have another one tomorrow morning. The only will be here at 7 a.m. Bright as a button. Well, she'll be here at 7 a.m as ever with Craft Price Drop. So there'll be one at 7 o'clock, one at 11 o'clock online as well, and one at 7 p.m. It's just funny in the morning. She just trundles in with a cup of tea. Oh, dear. So join her bright and early tomorrow. Wake up with the Oni. 13 pounds, 24 pence, four left then. Three left. I'm no better at that time of the morning myself, I'm the same. I sometimes get to the end of the show, I think. Where did that last hour go? What did I say during that hour? I wasn't awake. Uh, one left then at £13.24, saving you £24. Good luck, everybody. Lowest ever price. Who? Paula. Price lock. I think you closed one before, didn't you, Paula? You're all over it, Paula, and you've closed that auction for us. Now, this, is a, this was, this was going to be, if I was allowed to have another presenter choice, it would have been this, I think. Uh, mainly because I just saw this and thought this is going to be popular. Everybody loves a cute animal when it comes to fabrics. Um, whether it's cushions again you're making, or maybe it could be cushion for the bed basket. Couldn't it? I've got a cat now that we inherited a few months ago called Maisie. She's lovely. She's the only cat I've ever had in my whole life, and I've had a few over the years, that actually sits on your lap when you ask her to. You pat your leg, she sits on you, and she's happy, she purrs. She sits on cushions that she's supposed to. Yeah. All the other cats I've had in my life, if I bought, bought them something specifically for them, like a cushion to put in their basket, they'd hate the basket, they wouldn't go anywhere near it. they just want a cardboard box. But she's the first cat I've ever had that actually likes what she has. So that's nice. So you could be making um, maybe a cushion for a dog. Because this is our Dachshund. How do you say it? Dachshund or Dachshund? Dachshound. Dachshund? Dachshound? Dachshund? Dachshund? I've got all three answers going on, so... <laughs> Pay your money, takes your choice. You tell me. Um, how you actually do pronunciation on the email, that'll be interesting. Wiener dogs, because they look like sausages. Is that right? Sausage dogs, yeah. Now they are in two, three different colors. You've got the beige, you've got the mustard, which is very fashionable. Here we are, look. And they both go both directions, they're really cute. Really, really cute. They are so sweet, they've got such great characters and personalities. Um, and then you've got this lovely blue as well. This blue's lovely. It's uh, like a, a bluey gray. And I was having a conversation with my mother the other day. She didn't understand the fascination of blues and greys. She thought it looked boring and dull. I thought, ooh, it's what my lounge is. Thought, Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it. I think it's quite sophisticated. But, uh, yeah. So those are the three. Now, the, the measurements on this, let me just give you that straight away. Half a metre by 54. Huh? No. That's not 50 foot... That's not 54 inches wide, that's a metre. That's a metre wide by half a metre long. So, yeah, can ignore that. That is a metre, isn't it? There's no way... Have you got that tape measure again, Ben? Cheers, mate. Good job. 
Just by not imagining it. Cheers. Right, let's have a look. That is no way half a metre. Hang on. There we go. That is... <laughs> That's one metre forty. Oh, 54 inches. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right, sorry, I'll take that back. So that's 1 metre 40, which is 54 inches long by half a metre. Yes, that is right. Sorry, I eat my words. I'll shut up. It really does. It mixes me up when they mix imperial and metric together. Why do they do that? It totally screws with my head. There we go. Look, so there's your, there's your bluey grey dachshund. How do you say it? John dachshund? Dachshund? Dachshund. Dachshund. That's the fourth different way of saying it. So. <laughs> Cheryl on Facebook says, agrees with Ross, dash hound. Fair enough. I think, you know what, I think we're all in our own camps with this one. Sausage dog, I think that's the best way then, actually, yeah. That covers everything, doesn't it, then? Oh, yeah, could be the, the, the well-known film. Yeah, it's, there's a character in that well-known toy film. Yeah. But really, love. what are you going to make out? What? Is it going to be a dog's bandana? Are you going to make a bandana for a dachshund? How good would that be? Doggy bandanas. Yay. You can make a little um, outfit for them. How cute would that be? War warm little jackets, put their little tiny little legs through, and they've got their own images on them. Oh, I like that. Okay, 2250 is what they're down to at the moment, which is £22.50 off, half price. How many have we got five minutes left on the show, really? We might be able to get one more auction in. Okay, 50 15 quid. Wow, that is a £30 saving off the price for designer dog fabrics. Thank you very much. Because Dachshunds are designer dogs in my, my, my book. They're pedigree, aren't they? Very much. And they're so sweet. And they never, I don't think I've ever seen one bark. They probably do, but everyone I've ever seen has just been kind of waddling along. Happy as Larry. Waddling from side to side. I saw two dogs at the weekend. We were out in Christchurch down on the south coast and one dog was chasing another and they were going for it, playing. But wow, they were going about 30 mile an hour. And they were going around corners almost bowling people over. It's hilarious, like skittles. Brilliant. They did almost take us out. <coughs> Great fun though. Then they went and dived in the water. It's brilliant fun. An audience. I think that's why they did it. All right, four left now. 15 pounds, 30 pound off. Only four minutes on the show. Have we got enough time to do another auction? If we're lucky, there's three remaining. Good luck for this fabric. From the Mill Shop Online, from Joe and the gang. £15 with one chance left to get them in your basket. I've not seen this fabric before. I don't know if it's been on before. Maureen, you've got the last Dachshund. Have you got a Dachshund? Price lock. How many of you bought that fabric because that's your dog? Maybe the dog's been looking up at the TV going, I want that. Yes, please. Now, we do have a little bit of um, bling for you to end the craft price drop tonight. A little bit of, not a little bit of bling either, a lot of bling. Now, this is from Craft Buddy, hasn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Got to be Craft Buddy when you're looking at bling like this. Um, this is a real mixture, actually, because we were doing, I did a show with Dawn earlier today, actually, and they were kind of colour themed. Um, now, these are a bit of everything. You've got gold, you've got pearlescent, AB pearlescent, which I love those, actually. How unusual are they? They look pearlescent from a, a distance, but when you get in close, you've got almost like an oil-on-water look to it. You get various different sizes. You've got gold and you've got silver. Now we've got two minutes to get this price down because we're nearly at the end of the show. You've got little resin flowers here in silver. They actually feel like they're metal rather than plastic as well. Let's get that price down from 47.76, 24 pounds. You've got a two-minute clock up there. There. There we are. Two minutes to get these. Is it going to be the stock that goes first or is it going to be the clock that goes first? Stock or clock? Now we've only got 20. Now that's going to be close. We've only got 1 minute 47 on the clock and we've got 19 sets of these left. How low can that price go? £24 is nearly half the price. You've got strips of these. As you can see, they're all joined together, so you can decorate things like the back of your mobile phone case, that sort of thing with them, tablets if you want to. You can cut them into strips if you want, silver and gold. You get these wonderful little flowers, which are silver and gold as well. 
you get them in the AB coating too. They're all, um, they're all uh, adhesive backed. Some of them though are on strips. So these three that you can see are actually joined together on adhesive strips. But if you wanted to separate them, just get a pair of scissors. You can easily do that, no problem. I've just got to check with John. Did you get your super lila red tape? Yay! John got his red tape, hopefully you did as well. I'll present a choice. Happy with the price, John? Good. <laughs> Thumbs up. £24 for a bit of uh, craft buddy bling. We've got 53 seconds on the clock. Oh, it's that way. And it's up there. I should, I've done this for long enough, I should know. I've always been used. I'll never be a weatherman. I get all over the place. Right, five left. £24. Is that the lowest price? Is it going to be stock or clock? It looks like stock's going before the clock, actually. Four left, and there's 30 seconds still on the clock. Three remaining. We start over 20, and 17 have gone already with three left. £24. 21 seconds remaining up there, but only one stock remaining down here. Who's going to close the auction? Who's going to get the last one with? Angie, you closed it. It was stock that went first. Price lock. Thank you, Angie. Nice one. So, let me just remind you, Craft Price Drop will be back tomorrow morning with Leone at 7 a.m. Bright and early. I'll see you after that at 8 o'clock as well uh, with some jewellery, some jewellery making shows. That's just over there. So that'll be bright and early in the morning tomorrow as well. So lots to look forward to. And of course, the one day special is on the way next. That will be coming up. Now, whatever you do, Make sure, if you aren't a member of uh, Freedom, that you join, because lots of people tonight have to pay 4 95 PMP, and that's really kind of throwing money away. So join Freedom for 6 97 and you don't have to pay postage at all. Have a nice evening. More Craft Price Drop tomorrow at 7 o'clock. This is what's on the way. So yes, it's our John Next Door one day special coming on the way in just a couple of minutes time at the top of the hour. Uh, Crafters Companion festive favourites the hour after that and then more from John's Next Door one day special. Won't it? Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. Each month we will be bringing you a brand new kit that you can purchase on the day of each show. Or, if you pre-order your kit, you will receive £5 off a purchase of £20 or more of any additional products featured within our Craft Along brand shop that month. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, I'm Fiona Clayton from Crafters Companion. I've been crafting for about seven years now, having rediscovered my love of a childhood hobby. I'm delighted that I can share with you all my hints, tips and ideas. And here at Achanda, we're going to make sure that you really enjoy your crafting as well. So join me, Fiona Clayton, here on Hachanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda.
it is John next door, although we're like a semi-detached at the moment because yes. we're so close. we're very close. close. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, it's great to have your company and we've got a brand new one day special. Here on Hochanda, we launch a brand new one day special every evening at 6 p.m. This is an incredible deal. This is your one day special. Two payments of £21.49. We're already busy. It doesn't surprise me because when John is here, we have some wonderful demonstrations and we have some fascinating dyes and that's exactly what we've got here. Hopefully so. Mm, oh, yes. absolutely I, so. I have been beavering away on these um, for quite a while. So what you've got, you've got the square scene box card. Yes. So I launched the scene box card in a rectangular form in September, I think, last year. And everybody asked, could we have a square? Yeah. So we've got the square. But what I also designed to match with it or to use separately is this die, which is called the Oakham. So this is a die set. So you've got here your square scene box, all the layers you would get in the standard scene box, the square version, brand new, and then launching with it, you've got this, which is the Oakham, which is actually one, two, three, four, five dies. It looks amazing. Designed to fit, but you can use it in so many ways. I mean, I'm absolutely swamped with samples. Yeah, we are. We're going to run through some of those for you. You are saving £7, and you can pay this and divide the cost into two payments. £21.49, your first payment, and then your PMP is on top of that. However, if you're a Freedom member, then there's no PMP to pay. We will send this directly to your door, even if you are the boy next door, like John is. These are gorgeous samples. They are. I've got to say thank you. I've had some really good friends help me with these. So I think this one is Leslie Larkins. Yes. Or Leslie Lakin. She keeps shouting at me because I keep getting her surname <laughs> wrong. Absolutely beautiful. So here she's used the box on the front of the card with the lattice. But the idea of the box is, of course, this is your card, but then you've got the inside as well. So everything ties together. So you've got the depth. And again, it's been designed so that this will work as a large letter. Oh, right. So the depth is enough to keep your flowers safe or whatever you want to put inside it safe, but it won't cost you a fortune to post because even with an envelope, it's still well within the guidelines of a large letter. And here's a great example of keeping that flower safe because when we open it up, there it is inside. Love that one. Love the shimmer on that. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I, I love that one. That's another Leslie. I want to show you this one, which is um, from Mrs. Duck. Oh, I met Mrs. Duck today. Mrs. Duck Ms. is in the building. She is. She is. She is hiding in the green room. <laughs> but I love this. It's just so clever and it's very quick to make. Of course, no depth, no weight, just three of the box, boxes together. And work perfectly. Or, to give you Leslie's version of home decor. Oh, you wait to see this. One. There we go. I don't think I'm tall enough to actually Isn't hold that it. lovely? Now, we might need to make two of these because our producer, Lottie, <laughs> is finding out the gender of her baby this week. So one of these could be uh, for Lottie this it week. It might have to be. Hopefully this one. I believe she would like she, a pink. Version. Yeah, yeah, but she'll be happy with yes. the pink Whereas or the blue. I would say, to stop being so stereotypical, <laughs> you, it's, if it's a boy, you can have the pink still. Yes, you can. Yes. Now, we do have some wonderful card um, paper on the show. And here's an example of the dye using... Um, uh, that paper now which way it doesn't really matter which it way doesn't matter this. in the slightest i love this color combination i love these new colors yes they're beautiful Think that absolutely gorgeous they're sort of it's like someone's taken it's like someone's taken blue and then knocked all the heck out of it yes they really have yeah they really have or taken this sort of I think this is called Mouse Grey, this one. It's gorgeous, Just isn't really it? really beautiful. You can shop ahead. You can see the details at the bottom of your screen. 40 sheets of vintage card. Uh, you've got the shell, the pink, the mouse grey, and the old blue, and the taupe. But you, we will be taking a look at that later. One more sample, if I may, if I may, uh, because I think this is beautiful. I really do. And that is using, if I bring this up and grab that, there you go, the centre part of that. Isn't that fabulous? The idea I wanted with this die was that you had one die that would make you multiple. I yeah. wanted you to be able to make 20, 30, 40 different looks from it because I think that's what's important. We don't want one-trick ponies. No. We've all got a lot at home. We've all got a lot of 
stash at home, haven't we? Let's face it. So it's got to do something different. It's got to do something new, and it's got to be variable to me. And I, that's what I did with this one. Well, you've certainly done very well, and we are very busy for the one-day special. Two payments at twenty-one pounds and forty-nine pence. It is available on Flexi by nine nine six eight eight seven. Uh, pop that into your basket. Check on out. Make sure you get that. Assure yourself of the product, and then you can sit back and watch the rest of the show, or use the money you're saving to add to something else. Because we've got more for you on the show. This is also very busy already. Mm. I love this stamp and die set. This is the blousy poppy and this works for anyone who's seen my gerbera daisy or has seen my poinsettia which was really popular. This is the next sort of in the series and this is the poppy so of course you're getting the stamp which is one single stamp with the registration marks. I always get my fingers wrong. I was talking to Debbie about this earlier. <laughs> then you've got the die that just fits over the top. Yes. Which will cut you out all of the detail. So what you can actually find is, if I show you this one here, Isn't you can see beautiful. there all the detail of the oh, all the detail of the flower is in there from the stamp. And that's also using the one day special right there. So if you are going for the one day special, it would be lovely to marry up with that they, design. They work so well yeah, together. Yeah, they do. And at the bottom here, you can see, I have to say thank you to Martine Smith, who will be joining me tomorrow on the oh, show. Oh, really? Oh, fabulous. She's the expert in flowers, um, it was certainly when it comes to the foam. But this, these are all made with the poppy dye. All of those? So here we've got a traditional poppy, we've got more of a Himalayan poppy, we've got a chrysanthemum, uh, not a chrysanthemum, like a... Um, a peony, rose... No, the... Car Carnation. carnation. That's it, Carnation. Um, and the rose, all made with the same dye. That is fabulous, which I think isn't it? Is just amazing. And faux flowers are so popular at the moment. They're very, very on trend. So many of you are making them at home to add to your cards because it gives you that vintage look, doesn't yeah, it? it? And really also does. adds that extra detail. I think it's beautiful. I mean, these on here, they've got the white uh, poppies in here. You can have them flat, you can have them protruding, you can have them in that 3D style. Looking again, absolutely beautiful time and time again. What a lovely example that is as well. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, it's only £17.19. You're saving £5. It is an incredible deal, it really is. And if you wanted to pop this into your one-day special, it will only be £8.99 today because you'll split the cost into two. Take advantage of that. Um, right, OK, we are approaching 20% of that. We've only just come to it. A lot of you are looking ahead on the website, as you normally do. So well done, everyone that's got that so far. 20% of the stock already gone. Now, with those beautiful sets there, you might want to add some flourishes. You might want to add some fern. You might want to add some detail. And that's exactly what we've got here. Yeah. So what I wanted was to, again, I love foliage dyes. Yeah. I think they make a real difference. They'll sort of, it's just your penny old flower that we've got, but create a real statement on a card themselves. So we've got the ferns. So in here, you've got two different sizes, both of them mirrored. So you've got four dyes in there that will give you the very delicate ferns. Then you've got the sort of leafy flourish. So this is a wide, large flourish yes. with the leaves on it. And again, you've got two dyes which are mirrored. So again, you've got them going in both directions, which makes such a difference to me. Yeah. And the flourish was designed as well so that when you cut it out, the piece that's left behind is still pretty. Oh, how lovely. This is a gorgeous card. Look at this one. We open it up and you've got the flowers on the inside with those flourishes as well. Isn't that such a lovely idea? And something you can make and create. Excellent. Love these. If you do want to go for them, £19.99, pence, six dies in total. But you don't have to use them as flourishes. You could use them in all kinds of different ways in your projects. £19.99, pence, excellent value for money. 368165 or, of course, two payments of £10 if you want to go for this with your one-day special. Um, and speaking of one-day special, let's take a look at some inspiration.
some lovely cards there and inspirations. Now, most of them using this card stock. Mm. This really is beautiful. A third of the stock has already gone. So if you do want to get hold of this, you're getting 40 sheets in total. You get 10 sheets of each color. They're all packaged beautifully. Treat yourself. 12 pounds and 99 pence, 186, 516. Of course, if you're going for this with your one day special, you can add this to your flexi order. You'll have two payments of six pounds fifty. Isn't that brilliant? Love the colours of I these. I love these colours. I saw these and they, they kind of just popped up on the Crafts 2 website. Yeah. I think Uncle Peter picked them because we um, neither myself nor Jane had picked a lot of the other colours had seen these. So they when you came in and they were just I just said I've got to have those. We've got yeah. to use those. They're just so now and I yeah. love the fact like I say they look as if someone's taken a coloured piece of card and, and knocked the heck out of it. <laughs> I love your description. You know, they've just beaten it up and well, taken out the, <laughs> the, the brightness. Well, someone's beaten up the stock because 40% of the stock has gone already. We'll leave those there. You can find them on the website and you can pop them into your basket. Don't miss out. Please check out. Right, what are we going to look at? Right, so I thought we'd look at the scene box. Okay. So I'll bring my dies in, which are on one piece of card, one piece of uh, magnetic, because I gave you mine. To, you certainly did uh, so, so we could, could show, the show dies, them off. Because again, all my packaging is just paper envelopes. Yep. There's nothing inside. I don't. Well, the like dies the are plastic. inside. The dies are inside. Yeah, the dies are but inside. But there's nothing else but just no, the and dies I love loose that. inside the paper packaging, yeah. and the paper packaging is 100% recyclable. Yeah, so you could use it. So maybe. all the plastic's gone. You could cut it. It's actually yeah. quite a nice weight to cut. Yeah. So inside your scene box card, you're going to get this sort of Art Deco, Art Nouveau looking card die. This is what will actually make your box. So most people would think that this section here is the back. Yes. And obviously you fold those in and put a front on. We don't. Okay. This section for most of the projects is your front. Right. So it works backwards. Okay. So what I'm going to do is inside the die set you get two standard dies which will give you an aperture. So if you want just a standard box, you can have that aperture or you can have the clipped corner aperture, which will work really nicely to give you sort of an open scene should you want that. Okay. Your other alternative is to use the Oakham die, which is why I've included it with the one-day right, special. Yes. As I said, this is five dies. Now this one, see I've loved using this because it's not clean. <laughs> if you see, it fits exactly in the centre. Perfect. So it's really easy to size. Now, normally, when I was doing the other scene box, the rectangular, I always said to people, you must cut this first and then cut your panel in. This one has been designed with the lines slightly thicker, but also, um, because of the size of it, then you don't need to bother with that. Right. So you can do it all in one pass. Now, a couple of people did say, oh, you're not going to do an 8x8 version. Of course, you can't. Because if you see that that's nearly 8x8 as it is, on the outside? On the outside. Right. So an 8 by 8 would be nearly 12 by 12 and wouldn't fit through our machines. Perfect. So I've done this as a 5 by 5 because it's perfect for smaller cards, but you can mat and layer it up to get it as big as you want. So it gives you more flexibility. Love that. I so love your thought process, John. Put that in. See, there's a cut line all around there. We could just slide our piece of card, and this is the shell pink, and it's a linen texture, which is really hard to show on air, but when you get it at home, you'll see there's a smooth side, and it's like it's like a felt sort of oh, texture oh, over yes, the top. It is, yeah. it, I, like I, a fine corduroy. It, yes, yes. Yeah. So we're going to put that over the top, and I could just cut that, but what I'm going to do is... I don't like waste. And I don't like making a mess. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to put the next die from the oakum into there. Yeah. Let's get those bits out. And if you notice, that fits exactly in. So it's really easy to shape. Yeah, it is. Because I might as well, while I'm cutting it, cut myself a back panel as well. Why not? So, just going to do that. Pop my on top. And just realised what I was cutting last on this plate. What was that? No, I can't say because if you look closely, you'll be able oh. to see what's coming. Oh, <laughs> what's oh, coming right. later on in the year. You had so. me worried then. <laughs> you had me worried. It's for something that's coming it's up. It's for something that's coming later up. Later in the year. Not later in wow. the year. Yes. So don't look okay. too closely at my top plate. I had no idea what you were. Thinking yeah. About. No, you can probably just about oh. see. Yeah. <laughs> So, what I'm going to do, you can see here, all I'm going to do is ease out 
and I love a lattice. Yeah. Lattice, and, it, it just, to me, but you see how easily that's all come out and cut. Look at the detail on that. If you turn that over, John, that all oh, that that side, the detail going all the way around the edge, You've got and then the lattice itself. The strange thing is that Look most people that. would think that those individual little dots yes. are put on on a computer, and they are. Yes. And you would think that it's just done with a string. You put, you make a line, yeah. and then you just tell it to do dots. You can't yeah. do that on my software. I drew every one of those every dots individually. Every single one. Oh, that, <laughs> now that is something, isn't it? So some of them may be off because they were <laughs> done by me, so they weren't done. Well, we're, John, we're approaching a quarter of the one-day special, gone already in just 15 minutes of this live show tonight at 16.15. Um, it is an amazing deal. Sorry. <laughs> right, so what we've got next is, if you can see, I've asked this to cut a lot. Okay. So I can see here in the middle that it's not quite gone through. Right. So all I'm going to do is just take that out, take that out, and I'm just going to rotate that round so that I get these bits. Okay. So it's worth just making sure and checking at this point that everything's cut. What I've actually done is I've asked So you're putting it through without the... Is the die still in there? The die's still in there, right, but not yes. these sections. That's right. cut straight away. Yeah. And if you see all of these little bits, I have my dies made with a Teflon coating. Yeah. And the reason for that is I want everything to come out easily. Okay. I, life is too short to sit there. And I know some people love it doing that. The idea is we get instant confetti. Very good. Just put something on the floor to gather it up. Yeah, yeah they make me stand in a box still. I did used to stand in a box in did the old you? studio. Did yeah, you really? I made that much mess. That is one funny. of the buddy boxes. Oh, really? Used to stand in one of those. Oh, how hilarious. Let's bring that back. <laughs> I was told I had to stop doing it for health and safety in case oh. I slipped. <laughs> so there's our main panel. I just want to bring this one out. So I wanted to show you what actually happens is I wanted the die yes. to almost in its own way be multi-use. Okay. So the idea was, of course, if you cut that out and you don't put the middle in, you get this large shape here. Right. But if you put this section in as well, you actually get this fine I wondered where that came there. from. I saw that on one of your samples. But it and means I thought... that I can mat and layer easily, yeah. but it also means that I can rotate that round and it fits. Oh, lovely. Exactly on. So that's how we can get more from it. That's, what, that's why I love drawing them, because I can work out, oh, if I do this, I can get another cut from there that you don't know. Because that die doesn't exist. That would be two nesting dies, but of course, that's more money. They don't exist. So you've, you've created and made almost like a die cut, but without an extra die without to make that cut. Without an extra die. It would actually be Genius. two dies to make that for you. That is brilliant. Two nesting dies. So we'll take that one out, and I just want to show you a little bit. See how we've got all these dots? And yes, they were all hand-drawn. <laughs> You know, that's incredible. But it's, thank you for doing that, because that looks amazing. It did nearly kill me, but it was worth <laughs> it. But what you can do is, sometimes when you've got dots like this on a die, you'll see some of them you can see the silver. Yes. And some of them you've got a little tracing of card over the top. Yes. So all you do, I'm using the, the tweezers from my blossom kit. Just rub that metal over the top. And that just takes those little bits off. So that so you can see here, can you see here where it's got a couple? Yep. That just takes them off. Not you. If you do want the blossom toolkit, the details are coming up. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Are coming, <laughs> are coming on your screen right now. £14,099. This is a great kit, it really is. It's the Crafts 2 Blossom Tool Kit and Flower Moulding Foam. Uh, so it's going to give you the capability to make and create those beautiful flowers. It's a nice little kit as well, and you've got that lovely little uh, faux leather... Um, what should I call it? Not a purse. Wallet. Wallet. That's a good idea. Uh, a wallet to hide it in. Or a little folder. What I thought was quite clever with it as well, you've got the, if you notice, you've got as many hoops on both sides. Yes, you have. And one side is filled. I personally put other tools in there. That's a good idea. But the idea of it was, if you're left-handed, you move those to that side. I see. Because what how many toolkits do you buy that are for right-handed people? Yeah, that's true. That is true. If you do want to get hold of this, it's only going to be £7.15. You flex the order if you're going for the one-day special, because the one-day special is on a flexi order, or if you're spending £60 or more. And your one-day special, details on the screen now, very, very busy for that. So if you can see then, all of those holes 
are actually then through cut. That is an incredible so amount of dots. You can actually see the white in between. And you did each and every one? Yes. Singularly? <laughs> yes. Wow. I do feel very sorry for the, 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 the person, because what happens is I, I draw them. Yes. I draw them on computer. Yeah. Um, I, I'd almost, I draw like this, because I have, a pan, I have a graphics tab and a pen, yeah. and I draw like this, looking at the screen. I find it very hard to sketch now, looking at the paper. Yeah. Um, but what normally happens is you would send your drawing off to the manufacturers, and they would get a graphic designer to graphicise it and yes. turn it into the design to go off to be cut. Or to be manufactured i don't do that okay i graphicize it myself on my software and i send them the design yes they send back saying can we change this i say no and they do what i've done <laughs> because i want what i want uh, yeah well you know what and that's a good thing john because because as a crafter yourself and such an expert as well you understand the end result i, I look at things as the end result and that's what i want and yeah. i want people at home to to sort of get that yeah. as well so that's the middle bit so we'll put that to one side for the minute okay let's so we do need that. to show how to put our box together so you can see nearly everything's come out of there you can actually see it just get it in the right cross there we go i'll make chris very happy so i'm just going to take out any little bits that have missed that have not fallen straight out when i pulled it out but there's hardly anything and again I'll tell you what arranging the squares was fun was it <laughs> yeah <laughs> By hand? Yeah. Oh, that's oh my goodness. Uh, to be fair, it's one and then it's repeated. So it's a real labour of it, love, it isn't is. it? It is. It genuinely is. It, it really is. I was actually I was saying, I was saying to Debbie earlier, I was at Christmas Day, I was actually reviewing drawings coming back from the manufacturer. Yeah. First thing in the morning before I opened my presents oh. because they'd sent some back from some new ones because I want it right. Yeah, of course. So if you can see, what you've got is all the lines you need to fold are embossed. Okay. I haven't embossed this, we just cut it. Yeah, we did. The lines are designed there so that they're done for you. So all we do is just fold. And I find it's easier to put my fingers there and just fold. But do you want to just have a go? Because I, I know people think that... I say it's easy because it isn't, because I've done it lots. So just fold over <coughs> like that? Yep. That's it. Easy. It isn't, there's no skill. You yeah. know, I've, I've not got used to it or anything. You're just literally folding on the line. There you go. You see, I'll say that and I miss one. <laughs> But the point is, the lines are there. You don't need to score them, you don't need to measure them, you don't need to think about it. It's done all for you with that one pass through the machine. And these will work with any die-cutting machine. We're using the Gemini yep. here on this show, but they will um, work with any of your die-cutting machines. I test them at home with yeah. Big Shot yeah. and with a Spellbinders Platinum. Okay. So when I get my dies through to test, I don't just run them through my Gemini, yes. I run them through the other machines that I've got. Perfect. But you can see there, there's your box started really simple so lovely so what we need to do now is we want obviously a back for it and a front okay so in the kit you'll also get this die which has a sort of it's a square with a flap okay if that makes sense it does so we need to cut two of those if we want to make a back with a front two yes okay so I need to just grab some more of If you have shelter. any questions, by the way, please email in. It is studio at hochander.com. Or if you've got pictures of your projects with John Next Door products, we would love to see them as well. Please put them onto our Facebook, uh, and we will share them if you would like us to do so. And if you want to email them in, you email them into studio at hochander.com. But please do get your orders in. We are incredibly busy. We're busy for the card stock. That's very busy. And we're also busy for the one-day special. Two payments of £21.49, over a quarter of the stock of the One Day Special has gone. And we did bring Just to lot. let you know, yes, <laughs> and we're at, yes, only 23 minutes into the show. So what I did was, this can be a little bit wasteful, and I don't say to waste card, so at home I would actually cut a piece a bit smaller, but I wouldn't waste that, I'd save that. I folded it in half, because it's a simple square, I can easily cut two at once. Perfect. And still get the fold line on both of them because of the way the design, the die is designed. Okay. So you don't have to think, because what someone says to me, right, cut two of these. Mm hmm I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to cut one. Can't be bothered. So what we need to do is, I've got one piece there which can obviously make then my front. Yes. 
and I want one for the back. So, I have to just grab my scissors, which are down there. Is there something you can cover for a minute? Because I've left them in my box. Do you want me to get them for you? If you could. Yes. Just there, right at the... Oh, I can see them. Shall I go in? Yeah. I'm going she's in going, to get the scissors. She's going in. So, what you need to do is... Thank you. You're welcome. Um, just simply cut the flap off one. Now, I could have included a die to make one back... to make a back panel, a separate die. That would have added another five or six pounds onto the cost yeah, of the would dive. Have. What's the point? No point. We've got just one. So there's my back, and there is right. my fold. One for the back, piece. one for the front. Yep. Perfect. So really simply done. But what I want to do is obviously I want to add a little bit of interest into this. Okay. So I'd like to have a different coloured backing to it. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this as just a piece of pearlised white card that I've got. To go for a slightly smaller piece. And now, if I use the die that I've put... Do you know this? I've only just started. What does it look like? I'm already losing pieces. I'm terrible, me. I really am. I could be at home. Because all, you all you've been seeing before your eyes is dots yeah, for the past literally. few weeks. Yes, yeah, it is. All I'm going to do is just place down... This is the outline, the second die in, on die number two from the oakum. Just going to tape that one down because I don't want it to move. And again, I know I always say this, but if you're taping the die, don't let it touch your magnetic sheet. Why? What will happen is, when a die is taped to a, to a piece of card, yes. all the machines are literally mangles. Yeah. Yeah. So they say no matter what might make you've got or anything else, no matter how super duper it is, it's a mangle. Yeah. With a motor or a handle, that's yes. all it is. What happens when things go through two rollers that go in opposite directions is they move and slide a little bit. Oh. So what happens is, in the actual machine, when your die is taped to your card, yes. they can slide freely together. Oh, I see. When your die is taped to your card but it's held by the magnet, mm -hmm. your die can't move. So your card will move slightly and sometimes you'll get that bump. Got you. And uh, I found it at home, a lot of crafters said to me, they've, they've cut a shape and they've got like a little bump on it. Yeah. And that's because the card's moved, but the die hasn't. Right. So you either have to have the die on the magnet and the card loose on top. Yes. So that it can move but can cut freely. Or, if you tape it, yep. you need to make sure the magnet doesn't touch, so you just rotate your sandwich. There you go. So if you've ever found that at home, that you've had that little bump, Number two, certainly there is the fix. Bone shapes, and yes. you've got this bump in it. Yeah. But that's why. Like a speed bump. Yeah. Because you've been too quick. I like that, yes. I'll let you have that. Thank you. I will steal. I was going to steal it anyway, but yes, I like the permission. Fair dues. Fair dues. But to be honest, so what I'm going to do is, this time, take that out, and again, just going to pop out my piece, so I can use that either in another project or in this one. Okay. So we've still got all the detail in that, but this is the bit I want. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the section I want because I want to put an interlay into that and I want a nice line around right. it. So to save some time, I have actually already put some red line tape around what I'd cut at home. Okay. Because nobody wants to see me spend an hour putting red line tape around. It just reminds me of the dentist when you're using that tool there, John. It is a bit like one of those. Mm, um, it sounds things. a bit like it as well. I love this. It's, it's really cool, this one. I can't remember where I got it from or who I borrowed it from. Probably the dentist. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it has got a little sort of. Oh, sort of Yeah, sorry. So, all I'm going to do is just then take this and place it, and you see where it goes really easily. Let's get it in the right place, John. One, two, three. For, but can you see there oh, that looks pretty. what you've actually got is yeah. you've not got you've not had to use another die yeah. you've not had to have a set of nesting dies to match with it everything is included in the one love that and to get the card cut to the right shape all we do is fold your flaps the other way fold them in and that then gives you a really simple cut line so all I do. Could you cut it before you put it on if you, you wanted can, to? You can, but what you have to do is place this on top right. and drop the die into the right place, tape it down, and then yeah. remember which side's which. Yeah. So you can do it, and I can show you in another show, I'll show you tomorrow how okay. to do that. But to me, it's a little bit more time consuming. Um, and 
for what I'm losing in card, and I'm very much a non-waste, those bits can easily be used. Of course, yeah. I'm missing two little bits. Yeah. Well, you might be able to use those, you never know. I, I prob actually, they would roll up really nicely, they wouldn't would they? would indeed. I like that. But then all we've got, fold them back, and we've got inside then... Doesn't that look box. absolutely gorgeous? And that contrast works so well. And you can see that lovely lattice. You can see the dots that John individually placed on there himself. I love the detail that's in this. And the affordability of the one day special, two payments of £21.49. pence. You can see while we're very, very busy. 996-887. So, all we're going to do now is put the box together. I'd obviously already cut two at home. Now, what you need to do, take the piece you've cut the flap from, okay. and I'm just going to use my red line tape, and your instinct would be to put it round all four sides. Yes, because it's going inside. Because it's going on the outside, of course. it's going on the back. But, if you do that, how do you actually get something inside there? Uh. Oh. Because you'd have to push anything through the middle. Yes, you would. So what you do is you just put the red line tape around three edges. Okay. Yeah. Then take, again, red line tape or wet glue. You'll find your tape runners. And I, again, you know, I use a brilliant tape runner by Crafts 2. It's a really strong permanent one. Um, it isn't strong enough for boxes. And I've tried some of the other ones that they say are really, really strong. They're not strong enough for the boxes yeah. and the card. You really need to use wet glue or a red line tape okay. for this. Because um, it's disappointing when you make something and it starts to fall apart. Uh, yeah, it's not, especially when you get it delivered to somebody and they yeah. take it out of the envelope and then it starts to fall apart. So we're just going to take those out. And all I'm going to do is just put that little flap corner to corner. Okay. Corner to corner. It's your basic. Perfect. Done. Fold those in and then take your red line tape off using your dentist tool. Oh, I feel really bad actually saying that oh, it now, makes, but it makes it's going to sit in my head now for the ever on this pokey tool. I mean, I'm sure, yeah, I don't want to and insult And just any marry dentists, but... one flap to the edge. Okay. And stick that down, yeah? And then pull that side in. All right. Pull that side in. Ah, I see. Now it makes sense that you need to keep a side. Now it makes sense. But yes, of, course, of course, then, should you want to put something like tea lights in yes. or jewellery yeah. or a gift or knitted, yeah. you know, cl a doll's clothes or anything, of course, you just put those in and then you can pop it in and seal it. Look how easy that was, but look how effective that is as well. And just Love that. To put the flap on. And one of the differences, you'll see here the corners are clipped. Okay. What that means is that it can't actually um, it's, it, come, it doesn't come off easily, if that makes sense. Yeah. When you've got square corners, they can catch. Right. So yeah. they can catch quite easily. So this, it doesn't. But what you must do first is you need to fold it in both directions. Okay. And you need to get, basically, what I call it is breaking the fold. So it needs to go floppy. Right. So that it folds either way. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but when I put it on, it will. So just take my red line tape off, there we go, find, there we go, there's my top, place that on, close it, but you see, if you don't break that fold, right. it doesn't want to fold that way to open, Yeah. I so if it. it's not floppy, it's it will be a struggle to actually open the box up, but there you've got your box done. Isn't that fabulous and you're loving this as well again we are very very busy for the one day special now we've had a picture in Ooh. we've had a picture sent in this is from elaine and we'll take a look at this now oh, oh remember this show remember this show do you john now apparently she met you at the peterborough show oh, john. very nice yes so and she made these for her mum to give her theatre tickets for Christmas. So she put the theatre tickets inside. What so a yeah, a lot idea. better than, than envelopes. Aren't they fabulous?
fabulous. Uh, thank you so much for sending that picture in. And if you do have uh, photographs that you'd like to send in, then please do pop them on our Facebook or email them in to studio at hochanda.com. Great to have you company. This is your one day special. If you have just joined us, then one third of the stock of the one day special has already gone. But if you have just joined us, it does mean we've still got some left. 996887 is your item number. It's available on two payments of £21.49. Now, this particular set is so versatile. We can do so much with it. We've got a lovely sample here that I'll open up and show you. So at the front there, you've got part of the die, which we then open up. You can see you can pop some, uh, I always go to call them tea tree lights. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Uh, they are tea lights, of course. Uh, and then you've got the decorative parts of the die and you've got the lattice inside as well. Three. Yeah, look at that. Somebody is going to be very lucky to receive that. Um, if I pick up this one, if you're making an envelope or an envelope or a box, you can then just open that up. You can see that flower inside stays nice and safe and nice and secure because it's within that box. You can see just closing that, you've got that really nice depth inside to use. You might want to use this as a card, again, still using the depth that's inside there, which is lovely because you can put your sentiments inside. You can use all kinds of different colors if you want to make it a little steampunk, open that up, I'm glad it's just a spooky ghost in there. That could be something for Halloween, for example. Imagine if there's something else in there, that would be very scary. Oh, is that? I'm going to just hand that back to John a minute. Is it on the front? Is there no. a thing on the front? No. Is it just a bow? It's just a bow. Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> is it? It's not a spider. It's just a bow. Oh, no, there is a No, there spider. is. There yeah. is. Okay, I John. thought so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got hot flush. Uh, right. I knew I'd seen one. Um, and then uh, this one here, uh, again, what a lovely design. If you want to make a masculine, oh, come over all dizzy. Uh, if you want to make a masculine card, for example, this is absolutely perfect. What a lovely idea. And then you can put a sentiment on that side. You can put some tickets in here. Maybe it's for a show and you can put the time of the show inside there. Some really nice samples. If you're just using the outside, uh, for example, of that set, uh, you can see this will make a really nice wall hanging. Do you know what's nice about this? You've got the depth, you can put the words inside, but it's very, very light. Um, and showing you a lovely card here, because we showed you lots of boxes, you can also use this to make and create a card as well that you can just open up. Some gorgeous examples. So much hard work gone into this so you can enjoy your one day special. And how much is gone? Or oh, approaching a third of the stock has gone already. Two payments of £21 and 49 pence if you want to go for your one day special. Now, if you are going for your one day special, we do have other items on the show, which means because your one day special is available on a flexi order, a flexi buy, you can add this in if you want to. And this one would be 8 99 extra today. And then you'll have the other payment in a month's time. This is beautiful. It really is. I love poppies. I think they are an incredible flower. They have such uh, strong um, imagery for you to look at. And of course, with poppies, you can make them different colours as well. If you study your poppies, it's not just the red poppy that's out there. But what a lovely, gorgeous card this will make. And this one that I have in my hand is including your one-day special. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, if you want to go for the other items on the show as well, you might want to add some foliage to that. Look at the poppies on here with that dark background. Isn't that a effective and then just lifting up this frame if I may that poppy die can be used in a different way to make other flowers as well isn't that beautiful we are approaching a quarter of the stock gone 17 pounds and 98 pence saving five pounds that is your freedom price if you are a freedom member you get that fantastic discount and your PMP is included please go for that it's gorgeous so you've got your die and you've got the stamps to go to make and create those fabulous poppies or flowers. Right, we've also got a little bit of foliage and uh, ferns to go with your poppies or to go with anything uh, that you're making and creating. I mean, these really are pretty. And if I find my lovely set, let me grab this sample because this really does show it off beautifully. So you've got your flowers in here using the poppy flower dye. 
but also you've got the foliage in the background. Can you see how that adds to that detail, makes it deeper, makes it fuller and makes it richer as well. And you can layer all of those up. If you go for this, you can also use it with the cardstock. If we have the cardstock, of course, uh, still available, you can use any cardstock. But doesn't that look beautiful? Again, using your one day special there, but also using the foliage in the background. It doesn't always have to be in green. It could be color matched to match your card. I think that is absolutely beautiful and would make a lovely wall decoration or on a stand for example or it could be a very elaborate card for somebody 19 pounds and 99 pence if you do want to go for your leafy um for your uh, ferns and leafy flourish die sets that's the one uh, six dies in total 19 pounds and 99 pence you can of course add that to your one day special and split the cost into two that would be two payments of 10 pounds and if you'd like to see some more inspiration for your one day special let's take a look at this <laughs> Oh, you're really going to enjoy getting this one day special home because John has thought about everything for you as a crafter he's thought about all the different ways of using the one day special I think it's fabulous I love listening to you, Thank you. and on that note you can watch any of the shows again on rewind on the website right let's move on to the poppy die and stamp set that we've got available yeah so I wanted to explain this and show this so we're actually going to finish the car we did earlier okay but I thought we need to add some flowers on to oh, it please um, but one of the things so this is again the shell pink now one of the changes that you may see if people have had my flower plates before yes is normally the stamp comes on a larger a5 set with some sentiments right so that obviously makes it more expensive yes what I've been able to do is to change this slightly so that we can make it better value for people. Okay. So I've actually, you know, I sat down with, with Uncle Peter and Auntie Jane at Crafts 2 and said, what can we do to, you know, just to make it better value? That's what we're always trying to do. Because I think that's what we're all trying to look for yeah, as crafters, sure. is get better value. So you'll find that the stamp is single on its own now, and it just doesn't have an outside line around it. Okay. But it still has these registration marks. What are they for? Well, what I'll do is I'll stamp it, Yes. And then you can see. So what okay. we do is, normally when you get flower stamps, you get individual. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So you get six individual flower stamps that you have to arrange and stamp separately onto the thing. I was going to say, normally we'd cut those out, wouldn't yeah. we, and use them separately? This is all done in one. So we leave that. We leave it in okay. one. And it's designed to be slightly smaller than A6. It's actually an official A6 size, so that it will fit once, twice, three times, four times. Okay on a piece of A4 card, so that you're basically not wasting card. Yes. A number of times I've done that, and if you made it a slight bit bigger, you'd only get it out twice, and you'd yeah. waste loads of card. So this is a piece of A5. Just put it down, and I'm just going to stamp it. I'm using VersaFine, and this is sepia. Right. So like a nice sort of crisp stamping in to do my stamping in. So ink everything. With your stamp press, don't worry about anything in the wrong place. Just put it down, and what you want to do is just press it like you're putting a Tupperware lid on. Okay. You're not trying to restart someone's heart, which I say every time I use one of these. I see so many people go, <laughs> no. Literally, you're chasing that bubble around your Tupperware lid. Okay. When we, there we go. So you've got all of the detail that I've drawn. And you've even stamped, inked. And you the ink corners. the corners. Okay. You do that because when you bring the die in, yes. the die has those corners missing. Oh, for placement. So this is your registration marks. This is something I came up with. Um, and this was my idea of how to make it easier because all you do is place it against oh, those that two makes it registration easy. marks. So you don't have to spend hours trying to A, peer through the die. 
yes. to work out where to put it. Mm. And it also means that I can have the pattern all the way to the edge of the die. I don't have to leave an edge so that you can see where to place it. That's brilliant. Traditionally in the past with some flower dies and stamps that match, yep. there is always the die is slightly bigger and you get that line around it. Well, flowers don't have lines around them. No, they don't. You're the, quite right. The, the lines go all the way to the edge. So all we do is then cut that. So I'll now, run that through. the card that John is using is available, well, just, is just available on the show. We've been very, very busy for this. Gorgeous colours, uh, vintage colours. Uh, you get 40 sheets. Each of the colour is wrapped individually as well. So you get the shell pink, the mouse grey, the old blue and the taupe. We are now limited stock. It's only £12.99 for 40 sheets. And they do come wrapped individually, but we are truly, truly limited stock. So, when we bring it out, what we actually get is those cut and stamped perfectly. Your little piece is done. But you also get... I was going to say, what are they? Three little centres. Oh, look! Because why waste the space on the die? Obviously, I couldn't put another flower in there. Yeah. But you paid for that metal, so you might as well have something out. So you can colour those or just shape those for centres, which we're going to do on this one. Perfect. Or you could cut them in black or anything else. Yeah. But of course you can see then, you could use that as a stencil, but you can easily fit another one on. Oh, that is brilliant. So it Genius, just makes John. it so much easier. Thank you. So now I'm going to need to get my gloss And I, I love these. Yes, you can use them as uh, stamens, which is what they're um, intended for. But I think they'd look nice on their own. Just as nice little embellishments to your projects. I, I think they make lovely little, just little pieces stuck yeah, on there. There's like little snowflakes yeah. even. And they could actually. Yeah. There's so much you want, you should be able to do with yes. these. So I'm going to take the three sizes. And it's almost a case of when you look at that, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay. It doesn't actually say poppy massively to me. No. It's sort of a bit of a weird alien shape, I said. <laughs> well, it was called that for ages in my head. When we put the lines on, it starts to set, it looks 3D already with yes, the poppy. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is just shade the edges. Now I'm using the eyes ink and I'm using the pigment ink. Now we do have these available on the show for you. We'll change the details on the screen so we can give you those if you want them. Uh, we've got two options. So the first bundle we'll show you on the screen. Uh, here we go, we'll have a look at the first. You've got your white, you've got red, you've got ruddle, brown and black. So that's your first set, only 9.99. Then the second set, you've got your yellow, you've got your orange, you've got your hot pink, you've got your purple and light pink. So that's available for you in two sets, $9.99 each. Um, you know, I'd probably go for both, I really would. They're really cute and they're stackable as well. So you can stack these up and John is going to tell us exactly why we would like to go for these. Why pigment ink? Because pigment ink is a slow drying ink. Okay. I've always called it a bit of a pig. So you've got a slow drying ink. Yes. Normally, when you come to shade something, if you're using something like a water-based ink, yes. like a distress ink, when you go down, that's it. It's done. When you're using a dye-based ink, you will get it. You can get it on your fingers, and it won't come off. And again, it's permanent. You actually find your um, pigment inks are a mix of ink and glycerin. So what actually happens is you get a lot longer drying time. So these are a lot drier and a lot wetter. So if I show you when I'm actually using it on the shape, you can see how easily it shades. So just circle around the edge because it's not dry. So if I go like that, yeah. if that was any other ink, that would be there forever. No, because that's not dry. Right. So I can smooth it out. But can you see how 3D that flower looks? Yes, I love that. Some in the middle. And I know it sounds weird to say brown, but the brown goes perfectly mm. with the shell pink. It does. It's just what you need. And when you're using red, you, you need to use the black. Well, it gives you that vintage vintage look, shabby chic flowers. Yes. Yeah. How many times have you tried to shade around a flower and got blobs and things? But because this is, is wet... It keeps moving. It keeps moving. And so you've got so much more time to move it. So I'll just do the third one. And just go through. Now, if we've got some flower foam, 
Can we use this die? We can. Can we? I will try Ooh. and do that with the, the Christmas pack and the autumn pack. Of, I think it's Christmas pack and the spring. I'll put the two colours together on the show that are perfect with this. Well, if you want to get the Christmas and autumn, uh, 20 sheets of A4 flower foam, £10.99. pence. You're going to have so much fun making and creating those lovely, uh, yeah, realistic flowers for your wreaths, for your um, bouquets. And again, it's so on trend at the moment. Really is. So what I'm going to do this time is your normal shaping flowers, turn them over, roll them. Now, yeah. All I'm doing is I'm using what I call number three. The craft stick, the blossom kit has th three different ball end tools in it. Yes. But six different sizes, and each one is useful for a different thing. So this is number three to me because this is the third largest okay. sort of ball tool. And all it I'm doing is put pressing very hard out. If you think about a poppy, a poppy isn't all sort of. No, it's not. Pulled. It's kind of wrinkled. It is. In a way, and we get that look simply by drawing a line out. You see already how that's starting to turn. If you want to go for the Crafts 2 Blossom Toolkit and Flower Mould and Foam, those are your details on the screen at the moment. It's just £14.99. You get everything you need. You can actually pop this into your Flexi Buy if you're going for the one day special, turning this into two payments of £7.50. But you can see how John is using this, how easy it is going to be to make and craft those perfect, beautiful flowers time and time again, especially when you're using the dye and the stamp they're gorgeous they really are so lifelike so realistic and something that you will be able to achieve at home especially if you're going for the toolkit as well now we are approaching a third of the stock of the poppy die and stamp kit and the card has now sold out so the card has now sold out and we are very busy for your poppy die and stamp kit so please do check out your baskets so here I've used all three together to give me my poppy isn't that beautiful give me a, a large poppy but it does look like a blousy poppy yeah it does it has that real filter and it's just the lines so i wanted to say while i'm using the foam one of the reasons i've got this foam is normally when i used to shape flowers i would use a cut up stamp yeah stamping mat okay um it isn't dense enough if you if there is a real this is very very tough so when i draw the lines on it when I do that on my stamping mat, yeah. or the foam that's the EVA foam that's inside my um, press to impress, it marks it. Okay. So I've gone for this foam is a special flower moulding foam that's very very dense. So that's why I'm pressing on very hard because all I have to do for the centres, if I want to use these little ones, is just curl, it's just scribble. All oh, right. That's it. We'll pop a little bit more hot glue in, and we'll just pop a centre in. Oops. Do you know, it works every time at home. <laughs> Doesn't... Yeah, oh, there, there you go. go. Put my little centre in. And what I've done with some of the others, pull those in and take one of the foliage. I'll just pick this one up out of your way and just hold it up to the camera so go. they can see. This oh, time I've done it, stamped so and cut them beautiful. twice. Isn't that amazing? That's just a, that's just a bit of the uh, the glue there. Um, that is lovely with that stamp with the detail in there. How easy was that to fold up as well to make and create that realistic, beautiful, beautiful poppy? I love that, John. Love that. Let me just grab. I mean, if you keep going, keep making and creating. Look at that. Who made this, John? That's Mrs. Duck. Mrs. I have to Duck. Say thank you, Mrs. Uh, Duck. Mrs. Duck is here today, so Mrs. Duck, this is beautiful. Love that! Isn't that gorgeous? And you can create the colours to your taste. So I'm just going to. I've cut what just one strip of the foliage, and I've just shaded that with the brown itself again in the white. I've actually already cut, so I'm going to use my hot glue because it's here and it's quicker. Just stamped a little sentiment using the middle section from the oakum. Right, we'll just put our flowers on. But of course, that's this is the great thing 
about using the box, I get all this depth in the flowers and they're not going to get wrecked in the post. All of those? Yep. Wow. Because they go and they simply slide into my box. So just put it in. Always, of course, it's so much easier at home and things it are always glued is easier right at home. At home. But I can put that into place, pop those in. Let's pop that flower. Pop you back in, Mr. Big Flower. So we'll get him in the right place and close him. But then you can see, I hold that one up. Isn't that beautiful? You've actually got all of that depth, all of those flowers and everything in there. And how easy was that to make and create? I'll just move that out of the way. Sorry. How easy was that to make course, and create? So close that up. You've got the depth. You've Post. made the box, but and then you open, open it, up. it. It's just that beautiful sort of surprise, almost. Yeah, it really is. Uh, now, the poppy die and stamp is available, seventeen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Uh, I'm sure many of you are pot popping that popping. Get it? Popping. Popping the poppy into your basket now, because we are approaching a third of the stock gone now of your poppy die and um, stamp set. So easy to put together, and of course, you've got that great technique in there as well to help you lay the die on top of the stamps. The stamps themselves stays that whole complete set. It's brilliant. It's magical. And we'll be demonstrating that later on as well and throughout tomorrow, if we've got any left. But let's talk about the one-day special, brand new today, saving £7. It's available for your first payment of £21.49 plus your PMP, unless you're a Freedom member, then your PMP is included. And then we'll take the next payment in February. Hey. I can't believe I'm saying February. What's That's the date terrifying. today? 14th. Be on Valentine's Day. Yes. Yeah, be around Valentine's Day. Now, over 40% of the stock has gone. Get this in time for Valentine's Day and make and create those lovely cards and boxes and wall decorations and all your crafting delights using your one-day special. If there's anyone thinking about it, John, what would you say to them? I think it's just one of the most versatile die sets I've used. This sample by Leslie Lakin is beautiful. Graduation. Isn't that brilliant? I just brilliant. think it's so clever. But the same box, all those things that we make, those little bits, if you want making jewellery or anything, you can put in there. Anything that you make, you can actually get your 3D projects in. Here she's used it as the front of a card, but that's still postable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you, you know, just you can, keep that flat. And I've got to show this one. Oh, please, yes. This is Mrs. Stuck's. Mm -hmm. Now, this is for of the box. I have to be quick because a couple of the dies you won't be able to see yet. Oh, oh, okay. You will see them in February, but four of those together. Oh, that's amazing. It really is. Well, thank you so much, John. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. Yep. Please stay where you are because we've got more coming up. We've got the lovely Dave Bradford and Craft Price Drop. Uh, John, I'll see you tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. You go and put your feet have up, a have night. a rest, and we'll see you in a moment's time. Hi, I'm Dawn Bibby. I have been crafting now on television for over 25 years. I love crafting, paper crafting is one of my greatest loves, although my background is textiles and fashion. I love to bring you the very best products and inspire you with what I do, hopefully that you'll be crafting at home.